Dear Ollie, I haven't decided if you'll read this yet, but uh, I'm proud of you. I'm glad you and the crew are doing so well, and I know you'll continue to do well without me. I just wanted to let you know that I'm sorry. Sorry I couldn't keep you safe or keep Gillian safe. I'm sorry I couldn't take you on one last adventure. I'm sorry I won't be the one to take you home. Miss J will take you there, though. I mean, surely she hasn't entered a life-altering deal in my absence. I love you, buddy. The ship is legally yours now. That, that, that is a joke. Unless it's not. Uh, good luck out there. Chip. No, that's not right. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Grizzly. I'm the DM of Riptide, going in, bona fide, classified, Riptide. Are you on RhymeZone.com right now? No, I actually have nothing pulled up. <laughs> you just killed my vibe. Anyways, and these are the magnified boys. Chip. I'm Chip. Chip on the ship. Bisley playing chip on the ship. Chewing dip, playing chip, Bisley on the ship. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. We're snapping. That was snapping. nuts. And now, a haiku. My name is Condi. I play Jay Farron, Riptide. I hope you enjoy. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. Are you ready for mine? <laughs> you better have some yep. good, Charlie. Don't open up Rhyme Zone, you fucking coward. <laughs> he's got it open. He's got it open. He's got it open. Of course he's got it open. Charlie Slime Sickle. Feeling like a sickle in a podcast. Coming for your ass. <laughs> Playing for <laughs> Eminem? Yeah. <laughs> I started doing it and I was like, this is like the worst Eminem pressure, uh, Eminem impression that's ever been done. And I was just going to keep going until someone On said Eminem. On a podcast Eminem. looking for hot ass. <laughs> Name Skillion. Make so much money making a killian. I've been gone for so long, I might cry a million. Tears. Okay, guys, um, let's just roll with it. Where we last left off, the three of you. Chip, Jay, and... Kublai. Fuck! Confronted Dr. Ooze in the laboratory. We, I don't know why I said it like this, sir. Which was previously the domain of the Archfey. Celestine, your confrontation with the doctor started out in this conversation, learning about Gublek's past and his being built to, uh, as an experiment to go and consume these powerful creatures and powerful souls to finally become the last ingredient in this, this ooze, this plasma that would create a new and perfect race. Immune to disease and immune to fallout to any sort of apocalyptic events in any world. But none of you wanted that. You didn't want to lose Gublek. And so a fight and encounter ensued, and all of you, including Felipe, battled face to face, toe to toe, with the doctor. In the midst of this battle, Jay basically soloing <laughs> the doctor <laughs> as Gublek leveled up, literally, and Chip was stomped on vigorously. <laughs> the doctor managed to get information about your own world uh -huh. from Oops. Jay. <laughs> managed. <laughs> and at the end of this battle, the doctor who had taken quite a bit of damage, a lot of blows dealt. This was not a, a cakewalk by any means. Still, had enough of this overwhelming oozing power to double, triple, quadruple in size and uh, obtain this new gargantuan form with the goal to research and further his development on this new race in your own world. And though his plans were to take Gublek with him, Gublek, from absorbing all of this ooze that was enhanced and enchanted with Celestine's magic, became fate touched and used a command to wake her. And while this didn't stop the doctor, this did bring Celestine out of her deep sleep. All of you conversated with Celestine after the combat sort of died down and essentially learned uh, about her future plans to try and rebuild, help the souls that were lost, make the souls who don't have a body to return to because of the doctor's experimentation to pass on. She gave each of you something in return. You scried, or tried to, on Gillian, but he was nowhere to be found. You got 
uh, these bracelets of protection from being located, and scryed on yourselves, and then you scryed on Niklaus Hendricks, who supposedly allowed you to see him on the albatross back at Liquidus. And then Gublek, using the same sort of abilities and powers as the doctor, sent the rest of you home, while he himself decided a new path, his own path, his own destiny, and split millions of Gubleks across the many dimensions of the multiverse. And we returned to our universe, a world of pirates, as you came crashing down on your ship, finally home on the seas. You found your crew successfully building this limeade, lemon limeade empire, but unfortunately the fallout from the trauma and different challenges and obstacles that you guys faced while in the Feywild, including losing your friend Gillian, has been too much of the burden to bear. And back of the ship, Chip and Jay had a less than ideal conversation where Chip ended with talking about quitting and walked away. And it was in this moment that Niklaus showed his hand and spoke with Jay. And despite Jay's cunningness and bravery, a deal was made where he handed you the Luxurious Pearl with Gillian inside, telling you to venture out into a once-in-a-year nighttime storm that follows a leviathan named Pelagus in order to break it open. And in return, someday in the future, you'd hear a name, a command, and you'd have no way to resist. And as you slumped on the railings of the albatross with your head resting on the pearl and the tears flowing down your face, the journey continues. So Jay, as you are sitting there trying to gather yourself, you, within a few moments, feel this presence in front of you. And I assume your head's still burrowed, so you don't really look up and you hear. Oh, yeah, I'd be like, kind of like almost head in hands, like a really stressed out person would be. Are you, are you, do you have, like, are you, are you making, like, are, is Jay crying at the moment? Like, would you say or no? I think she's, like, ever since she slumped, she was probably trying to get herself back together because she needs to go find Chip. Yeah, um, I was just, so, yeah. Like, I was... She's probably, like, wiping off what's left of the tears at this point. So maybe not, but it's obvious she's been crying. <laughs> so you hear, hey, if you're going to cry, make sure to lift your head up. That's how you show your strength. Yeah. And sort yeah. of kneeling down with the arms just dangling, you see Dre, who had exited the captain's quarters from the gun deck and came down. Hey, Uncle. Tough day. <laughs> I heard the whole thing. The whole thing? Like, like you weren't... Like, with chip or with yeah I mean I mean I'm just trying to get some shut eyes normal in my daily nap in and uh I guess the, the yelling sort of woke me up didn't realize you guys came home yeah um it's <laughs> been a few um Dre was was there ever a time on the Black Rose Pirates on your ship? Somebody wanted to give up, just just stop. <laughs> so I, I don't Yeah. Know yeah, what this to do. is normal. <laughs> this happens a lot. I mean within like the first few months, I wanted to quit. All that excitement. Just to follow a captain. First time I almost died. I thought this ain't... There's no way I'll ever be as strong as the rest of the... The rest of these guys on the ship. The amount of time spent in Ireland. I mean, you ever seen? <laughs> Arlen liked to do a lot of pranks. Sometimes Finn's research would be a victim. 
when that old man gets mad. It's like he's a different person. <laughs> and if anyone ever was upset with the captain and they couldn't get over it, I mean, they either leave or they fight to become the captain. Did it happen a lot? Nah, I mean, that was pretty weird, but fights, I mean, when you're a crew, you're a family. You become a family. And family fights. And you guys are young, you know, like, everything feels like the end of the world. Yeah. But it won't be. Not tomorrow. Not today. You said there was a, a something else, or? Um, no, it, it's nothing. Um. Roll deception. Okay. A uh, nine. Yeah, I'm, I'm lying. <laughs> He puts his head on your head. Can't really use his hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing's fucked. Hey. There's something else you can talk to me about anything. You know, I mean, we just technically barely met, but... You're still family. I can't do much but talk these days. So if you need something... I'm part of this crew now. For now. Ray. Did you... and your crew... ever deal with a man named Niklaus Hendricks? <laughs> I'm realizing now that, that there's, there's hints to it that, that maybe your captain might have been close. Or, or something, but we've never thought to ask you once. He pauses for a, a good moment, like recollecting memory, you know, and a lot of it was fuzzy from being in the prison. No. That is very familiar. Not the Niklaus part. But there was Captain Hendricks. Back during the Black Rose. There were, you know, the four pirate lords. One of the four powers of the world. You have the, uh, the four admirals of Raf's navy. One top admiral and then three vice admirals, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then when we met Finn, of course, we learned about the four elders in the undersea. And all about that civilization we had the overseas never seen before. And then the four pirate lords, Captain Rose, my captain, Captain Shadowbeard, Captain Hendrix, and then the Dread Queen. It's a little hazy, but the last thing I remember of Captain Hendricks, right before Captain Rose retired, the four pirate lords met as a place in the Sakura Sea, or the Eastern Sea now, uh, called the Crescent Chain. It's like mountains huge mountains and uh, they met so Rose could announce his retirement <laughs> oh, the rest of the crews of course didn't join because when the four pirate the strongest these are four pirate lords are the four strongest pirates in the entire world and when those four fight doesn't matter how strong we were. We weren't helping. 
till they fought. But it was never out of malicious. Always out of respect. Always ended in a draw. It's said that the original four pirate lords are the ones that made the pirate code. Though, I mean, by our day, it was more suggestion than rule. And when one of them wanted to retire like that, he needed the other three's permission. Because eventually someone was going to take his seat. Or so we thought. When Rose came back to the ship, he had a map. Uh, to us, I mean, when none of them, it was blank. But he said he could read it. He said it was a gift from Hendrix, Captain Hendrix. One last score, one last adventure to set our legacy in stone before we disbanded. Finn. I mean, Finn always tried to warn the captain, but the captain never listened, you know. He said that Hendrix, he's holding back. Something about his arcane potential overflowing like the currents of the undersea. I had my own thoughts about Captain Hendricks, but we, uh, we followed the captain. I don't remember much about <laughs> I don't remember much about that adventure because it really wasn't anything to remember. I just know the journey was long, probably to the edge of the Eastern Sea. Halfway back home, that's where the storm hit. Chip was there. Chip was there for the whole thing. The adventure. And the storm. I, um, let me roll. Fucking good, okay. <laughs> Captain Hendricks, I don't know why you bring him up. I'm, I don't, I didn't even know he was alive. <laughs> to my little understanding, since I've been back above water, the rest of the pirate lords are dead. I mean, I know one of them is. Captain Rose, assuming. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Hendrix was a phenomenal fucking pirate. He brought one hell of a party. He had legends, especially in the Eastern Sea. I mean, he could charm this raging baby or ruthlessly leave no survivors. But I think the most dangerous a part about him, Jay, he never once had a crew. A man like that has secrets. A man like that can never be content. That's all I remember. Jay uh, definitely kind of sits there for a moment and is thinking. Well, if it's the same Hendrix that I know, then he's still as young and spry as ever. <sighs> okay. Um, How do you know him? We have a history, a little bit. I mean, technically my first time actually seeing him was today. But, um, 
is a history of meddling <laughs> in, in our affairs. He's taken some sort of special interest in us, the captains of the Riptide Pirates. Um, and somehow he always finds a way to string us up like puppets, get him, get us to do what he wants. <laughs> He's cunning. Uh, Dre looks a little, like, concerned, but there's a whole lot of experience behind the concernness. So he says, I won't pretend to know. I don't play these long games with someone trying to knock everyone down like they're just pieces. Well, would I be surprised? If that's what Captain Hendricks' secrets were, some long game plan, nah. Every pirate on the sea, we're all out looking for our own treasure. We're all looking for the greatest one. And we all do whatever the hell we want. Because that's what it means to have complete freedom. I don't know what he wants with you guys. But I don't know if it's the same Hendrix. But you guys, this is your journey now. You are the captains now. You gotta make these kind of choices, whether they're mistakes or not. And you gotta swim with them. You'll never drown if you don't stop swimming. Yeah. And this um, crew, this crew is uh, something else. Yeah. But they won't let you drown either. Well, right now, I'm more concerned about not letting Chip drown. Uh, Jay sort of, like, stands up at this point. She... The, the pearl is already probably in her her little knapsack or whatever you <laughs> want to call it. Yeah. Um, she kind of brushes off her, her knees. Um, thank you, Dre. This was really insightful. I hey. just remember he didn't he didn't live like you did <laughs> I can barely look at him cause it's painful nobody deserves that kind of life I'm going to go find him now. He uh, stands up, lets you pass him, do what you do. Uh, yeah, I, I put my hand on his broken shoulders. I mean, they're so, like, you can't feel it. It's totally numb. Yeah. They're paralyzed. It's just uh, what's muscular apotrophy or whatever. Atrophy, yeah. Yeah, atrophy. Mm -hmm. Thank you again. Um, And I'm going to... Take a running start and jump off the ship. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chip, were you headed anywhere as you walked away? Did you even walk away? Like, what were you doing? I would have I would have been walking away, not in any particular direction. Um, maybe just looking for a place to think to be. Mm -hmm. I, I might have I might have found like a, a high place, like atop a building, a perch of some kind. And I'd have just a little uh, piece of paper and a pen or quill or whatever whatever you write with here um and i'd be writing a bunch of different notes and just balling them up and throwing them i gotcha you hear as you're doing this <laughs> oh hey <man. laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah! how did you get up here i mean the city i know like the back of my head baby i was actually just uh 
headed back, uh, I don't know, to wherever you guys were. Jay's back at the ship if you want to go see Oh, okay. Her. Word. Yeah, I mean, oh, I mean uh, what are you doing <laughs> over there? Not, nothing, nothing. I'm, like, holding the notebook down, and I've, like, obviously been writing the most, like, depressed shit. Like, I'm sorry, I'm a failure. <laughs> like, like, just, like, it's, it's very clear. That I'm just it? fucked it's up. Very clear? Probably, probably. Oh. I would have been holding it like this. When he says that, though, I'll pull the the little like book over. You see all the pay like balled up pieces of paper thrown on under the ground, like at people. What do you uh, you like poetry? Uh, I'm shocked. Like for real. I'm no, shocked. no, no. It's it's nothing, Felipe. What? It's nothing. Well, hey, in the meantime, do you want to you want to borrow one of my daggers? <laughs> what? You can see he's now like kitted up and dressed up and he says yeah I just told my friends I'm gonna be a pirate you know that's cool with you guys <laughs> yeah 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 Felipe that's that's cool oh, fuck yes dude. I'm so pumped I went and got guns I got daggers I got uh, I got poison in my shoe now it's my own poison I spit poison poison in your sh- shoe yep yep yeah man uh, I'm just that look man like he stands up he like points at this like he like puts his arms up I don't know what the fuck just happened but that was the best few days of my entire few day life. I almost died. I almost uh, got eaten. I mean, there's so many things. I was like, I got to speak to Ashley Tisdale, my fucking hero. Uh, like, there's so many uh, unforgettable memories that I just made, dude. Like, I wouldn't do that forever. And ever, man. I don't want a tour guide anymore. This shit's boring. You know how much it pays? One gold. A month! A month, dude! I get one gold a month! As pirates, we could go out there on the sea, and we could see somebody fucking swimming, and we could sh- Uh, I don't know if you guys are, like, like down with killing people, but we could, like, take people's gold, you know? <laughs> or we could, like, help people, too. I mean, that's fine with me. I like yeah. helping people. Felipe, I don't- The point is, we could do whatever the fuck we want, dude! That's the kind of life I'm ready to live. But you- I mean, you probably don't want to leave, like- the city, right? You know, you don't like the back of your hand. This is your your home. Fuck up, man. I got the goddess of the moon watching over me every night. I can go wherever I want. You know what? I feel like this was destiny, man. I feel like she put you guys here so that I could meet you and that I could get on your ship and we could go out there and sail the seas and I could grow. I could grow and become the best Felipe I was supposed to be. I already feel more powerful. Yo, check this out. He fires off a little, uh, a little... Magic. He like picks up a stone and then flicks it, and it's magical. Look at that shit. I just did that. I could do that before I met you guys. How did you do that? I don't fucking know, man. I'm just. <laughs> I'm really. I'm just a really observant learner. Look, I'm just, and I like. I like stand up and start like walking around, pacing this roof. I don't know if you really. I just want you to think it through, right? Because maybe being a pirate isn't all it's cracked up to be. Maybe it's. Man, I've thought it through for the last few whatever nights. I don't know how long we were awake in that, what was it called? The Feywild? Is that what it's called? The Fey? Yeah, it's, I think. Yeah, I don't know how long we were there. Look, man, I had fucking wings and they're gone now. Like, I can't fly anymore, but I could for a second. You know what I mean? I was thinking to do the whole time. There was moments where I was crawling on my fucking, like, little frog hands and I thought, man, I don't want to die. I want to go home. I want to go home right now. And then, and then, I would see the craziest shit that made it all worth it. Yeah, you definitely see some crazy shit. But but you, I mean, you feel like, like you're cut out for it? Nah. Well, no way. Well, why do you want to do it? Shit, man. I kind of just like hanging out with you guys. What if we could hang out and maybe... Not do pirate stuff. Well, uh, I feel like that would be kind of boring, but I guess. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, man. You like, you guys are my heroes now. Like, not just Ashley Tisdale. It's you guys too, you know. Bro, I I, I watched you break a sword. <laughs> that shit was crazy. <laughs> Look, I I didn't break the sword. I barely helped. I'm not. You know, Jay. Yeah, sure. Gillian, I know you've got a weird thing with him, but yeah, he's... Oh, Gillian? He's a hero. Where is he, by the way? He's gone. Oh, I mean... <laughs> Wait, is that what I think it is? What? I remember you mentioning last time in the world that uh, we're supposed to forget shit in the Feywild. <laughs> After we exit the Feywild, did he forget? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot no! to make you guys wrong. <laughs> go ahead and make it. 
<laughs> like a wisdom saving throw. Dude, my wisdom sucks. I got a 19. I got a natural one. Bro! Fucking hoobla! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah, you can't be depressed anymore. You don't even remember. <laughs> You're just really kidding, depressed. Kidding, you kidding. don't know why. Right, I'll I'll tell just, you, I'll like, tell really you sad, Felipe, and I have no fucking clue why or, like, where I am. <laughs> so, what so, happened to Gildy? <laughs> Jay, everything is bright as clear. You remember everything. Chip, cool. it's not that you don't necessarily remember things that happened while you were there. You just kind of forget where you were. And a lot of the faces, a lot of the names, they're getting hazy and masked over. And like, if Jay would have, for example, mentioned Cass, the carnival owner, you would have no recollection of his face or his what about name. Gublek? Gublek was in the Feywild, so I no! mean, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to remember. You did roll a natural one. <laughs> Dude, no, I said no. I was so mean to Goob, like I can't literally forget, bro. You I mean, piece of shit! Here's the thing. <laughs> Blame the dice! Here's, here's the thing. You would... Here's what, here's what, here's what. Chip doesn't forget anything that you personally, like, did or said. It's just hard to remember why mm. or, or who you were saying it to. But you do... I mean, you remember you guys okay. had another companion. And he was purple. And you remember uh, the most recent memory, of course, is like the doctor. You remember Goob like being there. It's just it's starting to get you know over time. It's going to be hard to remember them in, unless you see him again. <laughs> you just like can't remember, so you just think like Goob like was some guy. Like you just remember that he was like <laughs> a fucking two foot tall Goob there was monster. A, it was a purple thing. Yeah. If you ever see them again, the memories will return. That's, That's very clear. Crazy. But anyways, Felipe says, oh, I mean if. If Gilead's like God or lost, then we'll just go get him, right? Yeah, I... Yeah. You still got a... Do you, do you have that briefcase? I don't think I had it on me. I think Jay had it. Well, damn. Hey, let's go find Jay, okay? <laughs> we can call him with the shell. Uh, you know, the phone shell? Well, that's his shell. We can't call him with his own shell. Oh, for real? You guys don't have two? I don't think so. What the, the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys speak when you're split up? <laughs> Are you sure you're only a few days old? I mean, it's uh, probably like five days old now. I think, I should, hold on. Roll uh, insight. I have a minus one to insight. I'll probably just leave. Oh, 17. Dude, I just looked up grung age lifespan because I got really scared for a second. Good news is that they live to up to 50 years. Better oh. news, they apparently mature to adulthood in a single year, which explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Felipe is probably in your terms feel is maybe I don't know it's hard to roll, roll animal handling you can tell with the insight that uh that he's definitely not just a few days I also have a minus one in animal handling I got an eight okay so you don't know enough about grugs I don't know why I mean you rolled animal handling it's not like he's an animal um <laughs> He's my little frog was, friend. You probably don't know much about Grungs anyways, but you can tell that he's not just a few days old. Maybe like six months to a year. You don't know exactly, but you know he's... he's. I mean, he walks around with a whatever kind of maturity Felipe could have, but it's like fresh. He's like still pretty young. He's still a young Grung, but he is not a baby as he pretends to be. Uh, yeah, we can... We can go find Jay. Uh, oh, hey, is that her? Oh my God, where's she running? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he? <laughs> Young, dumb, and full uh, of Here, grung. I got this. And I take a piece of paper and I ball it up and I. <laughs> <laughs> you get hit with a tiny piece of paper. She stumbles forward. She trips, falls. <laughs> <laughs> the Terrible. pearl breaks, so Gillian is lost forever. <laughs> I thought we were trying to break it! <laughs> not like that, it has to be specific. Oh, shit. oh no. <laughs> Jay, I'll okay. cut you out! <laughs> bad ending, bad ending, nightmare, nightmare. You see Chip and Felipe sitting on this, like, uh, tall rooftop. Just kind of like half wave. You know, uh, those, like... It's like in a cartoon when when it's like in like they like, they move in five times speed and instantly show up there. Can I acrobatic check to move in five times speed up this building? Yeah, <laughs> you like duck below the camera and then pop back up and you're right there. Is what you're saying? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a ten. It's a Scott Pilgrim transition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Jay's with you guys for sure. Not cool acrobatics, but you do Scott Pilgrim transition. Takes, up there. takes like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you come down? <laughs> Why did you just wait? Up here for me. Hey, don't you have a grappling hook? Fuck! <laughs> don't worry, I'm gonna be with you forever now. I could be your manager. I don't know. That's, or... that's great, Felipe. Is Are that we cool? in some kind cool? of rush? 
ship I grab him on the shoulder. We need to go now. Did you get our, our crew what? together? We need to go. What, what are you talking about? It's Gillian. It's Gillian. We can get him back. What? How? No how? How? No, we can talk about it later. Let's get our crew first. Okay. Um, what? Lemonade stand. Lemonade. lemonade stand. Lemonade? Lemonade. I want to run across the rooftops like Assassin's Creed. Oh, okay. But I believe there's a song for that called... How many fools can I kill today? Too, Too many, many to count, count. Don't, don't get in my, my way. way. Shoot, Shoot a mofo in the throw of my bow. bow. Tomahawk, Tomahawk chop, chop is my death, my death blow. blow. Hey, what's up, Chip? It's me, and e it's me, Ian Hecox from Smosh. Ian nice Hecox. You finally joined me. Did you like my uh, my cool Assassin's Creed in real life rap? I love that so much. Do you think I could come on um, uh, Try Not to Laugh Challenge? Shut up! <laughs> and, then he turns, and then he turns to Ash. <laughs> Ian. Oh, my God. My little smush smush. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? It's me, Anthony Padilla. Mm. Why does hey, he man. sound so much hotter? Mm. <laughs> hey man, I, there wasn't. Why is there rubble falling all around you as you've dropped in here? Where there's not even a roof above us, man. What's up, guys? I'm Anthony Padilla, and I'm going to be spending a day with a real pirate. Okay, so you guys begin to run across the rooftops with no checks asked. Um, Felipe is just hopping very easily, effortlessly, and you are able to make it back to the city square. You see that by this time now. I mean, you guys probably got back around midday. I don't remember what I said, but I'm pretty sure it's midday. Um, it is getting closer to the sunset hour, but not quite sunset. And you see that the crowd, while still is large, is dwindling down slowly as people are getting satisfied and served. And uh, what do you do? Yeah, I'm gonna run through. Ollie! You run through the crowd, you guys make it to the front again, you still see them doing their thing. Ollie. <laughs> Griffin is like counting gold and platinum pieces and putting them in big ass fucking bags. Ollie, uh, we need to pack it up, we need to go. What? Why? What? We, we need to go Hi. now. Hey. We have to get somewhere tonight. Got tonight. Kids. Look, Woo. hey, Gillian's gone, but we can get him back. Where is he? He's- uh, I don't know. Jay didn't tell me, she just started running. I have him close. He's he? close. He's close. What? Wait, he He's wasn't close. with you? <laughs> he was with us. It's a long story. We, just come on. Just we just need to go tonight, like right oh, now. Okay. Um, you're the captains. Hey. Yeah. Alphonse, are you ready for the guzzler? The <laughs> guzzler? <laughs> the what? Yes, Ollie. I will prepare it immediately. All right. Okay, Griffin. <laughs> He starts like putting these fucking like uh, bags of coins on his back, uh, and you see basically this like tube connect to one of Alphonse's legs as he puts his arms together, and they sort of like transition to this big fucking cannon. And then within like a few moments, Ollie like ducks behind the the counter, and now it's just for you guys to do it as well. And then there's this big fucking splash of limeade <laughs> that gets sent out into the crowd like <laughs> rain. Uh, and with this distraction, all of you start running uh, in the opposite direction as people are looking up to this giant, almost like tidal wave of fucking limeade that's getting crashed <laughs> down in the city square here and soak everybody with it. And you guys start running and you hear like this giant crash of this water uh, or this 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 liquid <laughs> and people like scream and like slip and fall and slide and, and then the eventually water of liquidus like the water powering liquidus turn fucking green <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it almost looks like a, a, a like these people just got hit by this amount of this increasing amount or this insane amount of, of, of liquid and then the entire city square is sort of mildly flooded as people just uh, at first, everyone is pissed off as you're running away, but then there's a little bit of cheering as people start to play in like this water park for a minute. Um, and uh, you guys run away, and Ollie is giggling like a like a hyena has uh, been waiting to just absolutely soak everybody. Um, and he says, <laughs> "How'd you like that? I've been planning that break for two weeks." That that was awesome. <laughs> that was pretty good, Ollie. All right, and you guys make it back to the dock. You head up on your ship. As we're as we're running, can I just like, hey, uh, you want to maybe explain how you found Gillian, or we'll get to that when we get to that, okay? It's not important. Okay, right we now. get to that now. Do you need to know right now, or do you need to get Gillian back? Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, you guys get back onto your ship, and with that, uh, hoist the sails. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, as soon as, as soon as the uh, the crew gets back on the ship, everybody takes their certain positions. Dre is kind of standing at the gun deck, and Griffin throws the bags of coin at him, and it almost could he, like he can't catch it because he has no arms, so he gets sent <laughs> flying through the door. <laughs> it's like <laughs> as he gets sent back into we, the uh, the room. We're in Liquidus. Yeah. Yeah. 
the city at the bottom of the water. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. Hoist the sails. Wait. How the fuck do we get out of here? You start leaving the dock. You start leaving the city. You see there's just that giant wall of water as you're in this water crater. It's got, I mean, like, they went. <laughs> what? I'm just, like, looking at Jay, like, finish a sentence. I don't know. Are we just going to sit here? You guys better make the call because we're heading straight for that wall. Um. um damn, you're full a Full speed ahead. Full speed what? ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, um, who else is on the ship right now? You're off one saying, aye, aye, Captain. And then he just sort of like spins the wheel, straightens it out, and the sails go as I get flurled and filled with wind as you guys start heading towards the wall of water. <laughs> can I make like a, a perception check and see if there's any other boats trying to get out of the city right now? <laughs> you can make a perception check, but I'm going to tell you right now, it'll probably be too late. <laughs> I cross my fingers yeah, and ten. I close my eyes. A tin, I mean, yeah, a tin doesn't get you enough because it's a little bit too late. As you guys head straight for the fucking water wall, and Ollie's like, oh my fucking god! And then you hear Felipe Wait. go, um, hey, nice to meet you, I'm Felipe. <laughs> All right, Felipe, how do we get out of here? Um, oh, I mean, you're doing, like, you get hit by the fucking water wall as the ship just sinks right into the fucking water, and then you feel whoosh as almost like this like extremely powerful opposite current gets like a, like almost like a suction sort of like a uh, wheel you guys get attached to a water wheel in this water wall and then you get sent rocketing out of the water as your ship is just completely soaked and damped uh, <laughs> like soaked and damp as you get shot onto the other side the upper side of the oversea <laughs> and you guys we come back, back down <laughs> in the ocean <laughs> I think that's my first plan that ever worked. What the fuck? Is there a direction we're heading? I pull out my, my, uh, why don't I forget what it's called? Spyglass. Felipe says, hey, <laughs> I've seen that happen, but I've never done it before. Woo, that was fun. That was, that was crazy. You pull out your spyglass, you look around. Yeah, I'm um, specifically, like, the, the question I would ask is, like, just looking for stormy weather, you know? Um, because we didn't really get a direction or a place or anything. Um, so he said that it's once it'd be the night at nighttime at nightfall. Yeah. You basically see again that sort of overlay, like the clouds in the spyglass sort of move to form an arrow as you're looking through it, although it's not actually happening outside of the spyglass view. And it's just sort of like pointing a little bit towards, like you just guys have to move a little bit more like northeast to head towards what is going to be like the beginnings of, you know, a storm. Yeah. But you know that this is not going to, you're not going to find a storm it's with your own eyes until nightfall. Yeah. And it is, yeah. you know, probably, you know, the sun is, is, it is sunset, but it is not currently setting. You're going to sail quite a bit of ways before yeah. the night, the sun sets. <sighs> Sorry, we needed a, I just need to make sure we're out of the city before nightfall. We have a bit. Okay. Before. For what? You said we were going to find Gillian. Where's Gillian? Jay, at this point, would slowly kind of like she'd she'd unbutton her her little knapsack thing and like pull out from it the pearl um it's here like in it like and i get up close to it and i start like looking into it and i like go, <sighs> and i look in i don't see anything in here if you're trying to use it the way it was used it'd be an arcana check if you're trying to mentally connect with the luxury pearl I I was I'm trying to look literally inside of it, but <laughs> oh. I will do that as well I, I by think accident. Accidentally doing it is always fun. Um, I rolled a five though. So. Yeah, we're both really. Uh, we never are gonna get that. Sorry, Gillian. <laughs> And you're for you, Gillian. It's all darkness, and you're still screaming. Yeah, I know. I've <laughs> just been falling for like I two mean, weeks. I'm just as good at Arcana as I am at athletics, actually. Bro, I think we all actually. I have negative one Arcana too. So this is no. I have plus two. I have. Oh, I actually do? have a plus four, and I just can't roll. Oh, well, good what the fuck Arcana. is your guys' excuse? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, no. I don't know. I just, I just don't like you. <laughs> I've been falling for two months. <laughs> I have a plus one Arcana. <laughs> you want it? Wait, you have a what? <laughs> this is, you recognize this chip? I stole it, I'm doing it, he's gonna kill me. What's his name? He always says it's his boy. The big, the big thing. Oh, Dugon. Dugon. Yeah, we fed it to him. Yeah, so why is it in front of me? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I just wanna look at her face and determine if there's something. Oh, there's something. Is, uh. would, it, would it be obvious without an insight roll? 
Eh, I'd say yeah. You don't need an insight roll to be like there's definitely something. You're know, like why that you know I have this pearl suddenly, and she kind of looks. It's like a mix of relief and guilt. Where did you get it? Did Dugon come back? Spit it up on the boat? I uh, I wish. <laughs> oh Jay, don't tell me. No, oh, that's exactly who we saw in the boat before, and it is exactly what I thought he was gonna do. God, I wish he would get alive. <laughs> Ditto, bastard. And so that was the deal? How did he even... I'm confused. How did he even, what, like get the pearl? No, he was there? I don't know. I mean, apparently... I talked to Dre. Apparently, Niklaus might have been this very... Just a powerful pirate lord back in the day, back when you were young. Any recollection on my brain, on my little Chibo brain? In my mind, I was going to tell you, just to roll a history check... Even if you didn't ask. Natural one. I don't know shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember at all. That's my second natural one today. It's rough. Hard Dude, chip day. I love chip pitiful arc. I love chip <laughs> useless arc. This shit is awesome. He was a but, um, pirate captain? Yeah. Well, maybe not a captain. Because uh, apparently he never had a crew. How do you be a captain without a crew? I, I don't know. But this was my only option. I mean, he had all the cards. He was either... And what did he want? Same thing. He always wants a deal. He said that one day I would hear a name and a command, and when that day came, I would have no choice but to follow it. So if he says, like, kill Chip, you're just gonna shoot me? No, no, no. I I clarified. I, I amended the deal because you can do that. Deals aren't, like, you know... You can... You can <laughs> Make it more yeah, like I, better for you. I, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I I made sure that it no, didn't I, have I anything did to do too. with. I did that too. You or Gillian or, you know, anybody, really, just you and Gillian. Actually, I think I don't know if I said the crew. Uh oh. <laughs> you just said you and Gillian. <laughs> well, Chip and Gillian. I I put my hand on her shoulder. I'm sure gonna miss Alphonse. <laughs> when you shoot him, I mean. I I would have hope. Don't know. It's okay. I don't know if Niklas knows about you. Not yet. You're probably chill. Yeah, well, let me, can I touch the, uh, can I touch Gillian? Hold it. Over to him. Hey, you <laughs> I hope Gillian starts <laughs> interaction with us as Billy Bay. This is the fucking assassination attempt of the century. <laughs> <laughs> this is, of all of the cards that have finally played out. He rolled a 15. Oh, is that enough? Fuck. I'll say it is for now. And uh, <laughs> what? Okay. Gillian, in your space, as yeah. you're yelling obscenities, yeah. another one of those like cracks and tears opens up and you see this eye. So you finally come back to finish the job. You're right. Hello, Gillian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, no. guys, Felipe, you guys hear, did you guys you hear too? Felipe talking as he's like holding the, the pearl and his eyes sort of cloud over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got me. What's up? Are you Felipe, I'm so sorry. Now what's about to happen is you're gonna relive all the Hello? worst parts of your past, okay? Gillian. But the trick is to show that you've changed, all right? Are you in there? Can you hear me? Can you hear Gillian. Felipe? Felipe! Hello? My little frog! My little Guys, sticky I, uh, poisonous boy! Um, all right, well. I I'll love see you! Some I let it go. He lets it go. Say and it back. Say, say no! <laughs> the, the rip disappears. The eye disappears. And Felipe goes, guys, I can't hear him. I, I uh, can't even see him. As soon as he disappears, Achilles looks up at the sky. Damn you, Niklaus! <laughs> just keeps going on. So he's in here, though. Like, in the pearl? Apparently. I can definitely sense something, but uh, I, I couldn't hear or see him. Okay, so let's <laughs> crack this bitch open. No, 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 no. We can't do that. I'm about to throw it at the ground. <laughs> oh, I was given very specific instructions. Okay, what, we're like, not gonna bring the like three crew minutes out in there. the oven and over easy. <laughs> kind of. Three hundred fifty degrees. It's more like sail into a raging storm above a leviathan and have lightning strike the the pearl. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Say that one more time. There were a lot of yeah. Voices we need to in go into <laughs> we need we need to go into a raging storm that follows a leviathan that is going to get close to the surface, and lightning has to strike the pearl, and then Gillian will be free. Lightning has to strike the pearl. Uh-huh. Gillian will be free. Uh-huh. Easy. How right? do we... <laughs> okay, how do we make lightning strike this pearl? Oh, well, that's... I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just, like, a lightning rod. 
kind of. Well, we put it on the end of a lightning rod like a lollipop. I no, we just hold it into the air and and hope we don't die. What, <laughs> what if it? What if it zaps like? Okay. Uh, maybe don't touch it. Like, <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Would you want to get struck by lightning? Maybe. What are your roles on this ship, by the way? Like, what are are you? What are you guys? Are you the captains? Did we never say that? Did we never tell you? No, I, I actually, I don't, I don't know anything about this. I'm new to pirating. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, me and Chip and Gillian are captains. Alphonse over there is the helmsman. Ollie hey, is Alphonse. a small boy we keep on the ship. You guys are weirdos. Griffin is like a mercenary. He's probably like weapon master at the end of the day. But he's like the when, when he gets, yeah, he's the muscle. I'm the accountant. Oh. And the account. Uh, okay, he's the accountant. Um, uh, as in. I count the money. Dre's our old man we keep on the ship. Yeah, with no arms. Dre. He's also our map. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he also has a map tattooed to him, yes. Nice, 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 nice. And you are our... Fourth captain. Position <laughs> right? on pirate ship. I mean, I don't want to... Uh, don't humble me. I know that uh, I'm the best man for the job. Um, you know, temporary captain while you Gilead know what? is gone. How about first mate? Just for you. Wow, what does that do? You're just like captain if we're not around, I guess. <laughs> Guys, you hear that? I'm new here, and I'm gonna be your boss. <laughs> well, well, everybody's ignoring you guys. So, uh, what do you? <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else, I will say that uh, unless you guys have anything else you want to say or do. Yeah, I would. Uh, unless Chip has something, I would. I would probably wait around. Trying um, to get Gillian back. You all sail. A bit northeast, uh, so so uh, a bit a ways away from Liquidus, trying to get back on track, following this spyglass's direction towards a gathering storm. And the sun sets within a few hours. You're far from any place to see on the horizon. It's just now your ship here in the Viridacy. As it's completely dark, everything is calm. The entire crew is silent, as everyone's been filled in on the current goal. You can taste and smell the salt from the sea, but you hear no winds, and you barely hear the water move beneath the ship. And then in a moment, as this calm builds the tension and anxiety, everyone begins to notice in the distance a gathering of grey clouds stealthily obscuring the night sky. The closer you get, as you begin to follow and head towards, the more these... I don't want to bring I don't want to bring the big ship into the big storm. Yeah, just let me finish. Yeah. All right? Just making sure that's clear. I know. I meant it was in the distance. It's in so quite, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. quite a ways away. Okay. Just making sure. So you head towards the ship. Or you head towards these clouds gathering, assuming it is the storm you're looking for. And the closer you get, the more the emerald waters beneath the deck... Uh, the, the more the water starts to like soak the deck of the boat as this deafening crash of this colossal red lightning strike sends ripples through the waves for miles. It's fucking sick. What what sea is this, by the way, that they're in right now? If I can... We're in the, the Northern Sea, the Virida Sea. Okay, cool. The water on the ship reflects the light, giving every bit, every inch of the area surrounding you this red glow. The sea itself now appears black but then red with every strike and every flash you're, in a, you're at a point now where you're close enough that the heavy rain and the harsh winds lash at the boat whipping past your face and piercing your eardrums at this point every step you guys are taking is uncertain with stability and the storm rages as it drowns your senses here above the water Jay you can feel you can feel in your haversack the little thing that you're holding the you're covering the pearl with you can feel it begin to hum, but you also can tell that the lightning strikes of their power, of this caliber, could spell disaster if it struck this ship, or any one of you. So, what are you doing? Okay, Chip, we're not gonna bring the the, the, the albatross out there, okay? Okay. Rowboat? Yes. We're gonna bring the rowboat. Should we both go? Just me and you. Yeah. 
okay. <laughs> Boom. And I, um, <laughs> the fucking the sounds are, are really. Oh. It's actually head just Felipe that, making so. those sounds with his mouth. It's not. <laughs> I'll head over to the rowboat. Hop yeah. in. Um, look o- look over to the crew. Look over to Ollie. We'll be right back. Take care of the ship. Okay. Drop the rowboat into the water. Hey, um, hey, hey. If you guys don't come back, is this my ship now? I no, look it's at Ollie's. Ship. Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> you hear as you're, you guys are getting on the rowboat. If they don't come back, it's my crew now. Wow, mutiny. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that kind of makes sense, though. Griffin would strong arm it out of them. Ollie will throw them <laughs> overboard. And maybe Probably. to the moon. <laughs> Yo, yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah. You want to row? Yeah. Oh, I'll start. I'll get into position and start rowing through this, these rough waves towards. Alphonse's eyes light up like a lighthouse. Looks towards you. You can see like a gentle wave, and he starts to turn the ship to exit, like the heaviness of the storm, so that it doesn't get uh, destroyed. And you guys begin to row. Uh, who's rowing? Just Jay. Yeah, probably yeah. just Jay. Go ahead and make a uh, athletics check. Yeah, uh, it shouldn't have been me. Actually, no, I have good athletics. Ooh, 19. Yeah, my athletics is two. 19? Okay, uh, Jay's jacket rips off the rippling muscles underneath. <laughs> as, her, as her fucking... The, the oh paddles literally cut through these waves that are trying to destroy you at every moment. They are just crashing against the side of this rowboat as you guys begin to sail <laughs> This deeper is why I installed the rowing machine in the <laughs> into the middle of the storm. <laughs> Jay, your, uh, your, your veins are sticking out. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. You know, it was the first time I ever sailed into a storm to get somebody back. Yeah, it's not normally this way. It's because it's the other um, way around. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you know, this is kind of like old times, isn't it? Back on the big chipper. The storm ain't that casual. It's fucking <laughs> awful. <laughs> hey, we're still making casual conversation. What you else are we supposed to do? You can barely hear each other. <laughs> hey, this is just like the big chipper, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, My girlfriend's still maybe asleep. we'll get blown up just like the big chipper too. What? <laughs> I said maybe we'll get blown up like the big chipper too. That would be funny one day. Right next to your ship, guys, make a dexterity saving throw right next to the rowboat. 15. Uh, 12. 12? With a 12, J, you get sent flying, but you managed to catch on to the side of the rowboat, but you're in the water now dangling on the side. Chip, what do you do? I'll help her. Yes, it's just like the big chipper. All right, make a strength check, Chip. Okay. As you're beneath the water, you can feel the waves trying to, like, almost like the waves themselves are trying to grab you, grapple you and pull you under. But, Chip, that's good enough. You managed 14. to pull Jay back onto the boat, and uh, you keep rolling towards the middle of the storm. Thank you. At oh this my point, God. holy shit. Don't mention the, it. The pearl is vibrating uh, in that sack uh, as it is basically attached to your hip, just sitting mm-hmm. next to you on one of the wooden boards uh, seats of this rowboat. I'll pull it out. Pull it out right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you pull it out and you can feel it conducting the energy within this area. And inside of the pearl, now you see like bits of this like swirling mist as you remember before, but this time it's red mixed with a bit of, uh, sorry, this time it's black, completely black mixed with uh, a bit of red uh, arcane energy as it's sort of, you know, absorbing the different uh, electrical interference within the air. And you can feel uh, the hair on your arms and your head sort of start to stand and hover above your skin. Uh, Both of you are completely drenched right now, rowing this boat. It's definitely doing something! Just make sure it's not in your hand when it strikes. One strikes right next to the ship again, guys. Make a dexterity saving throw. A 14 this time. A 9. <laughs> Chip. <laughs> Chip, alongside, along with the Luxus Pearl, gets sent flying off the rowboat by the, the heavy crash of this lightning strike and get uh, plunged into the water. Jay, what do you do? Uh, Are you still holding look. on to it? Chip, you still clutch the pearl, but you get sent flying into the water. And it is, uh, not only is it terrifying, it's traumatic. <laughs> Good to know, more trauma for Chip. Ah, this feels like a recipe for disaster. <laughs> it is, yeah. What do you do? What's the plan, Jake? I give you a um, second to react since you succeeded. How far away is he from me? He just fell right next to the boat, but he's underneath the water now. Okay, I don't see him right now. I mean, you just watched him hit the water, so yes. I mean, you see him sinking or getting, uh... You have this one I moment can swim. where he, like... Yeah, I mean... It's definitely difficult. Make a uh, athletics check with disadvantage. 
With disadvantage? Why do you hate me right now for Dude, some reason? Dude, you're in the middle hate? of a massive fucking thunderstorm. Dude, I rolled a natural waves, 20 like... and I and I, and then I got a 13. You fucking suck. Uh, well, I was going to throw in my grappling hook for him to try to grab on. Okay, you can do that. Can I still swim with a 13? With a 13? Um, you're, <laughs> you're able to grab onto the grappling hook just before you feel like you're going to get dragged underneath the current. Okay, I'll, uh, I, I get back on the boat. Now, Jay. Yeah, so we might die out here. <laughs> I hope this works. Me too. Is this a good spot? Uh, Did you set it down on the boat? Are you holding it? This is I very want important. To, what are you doing? I want to go up to the front of the, uh, like, just the, the end, put my one foot on it, and just hold it up in the air. <laughs> You're going to hold the pearl. Yeah, okay. I'm going to hold it up in the air. Okay, Jay, I, watch I got this. this one character for another. What Make, a sure, We're gonna get him Make back. sure it's not in your hand. <laughs> you watch him. It's, it's in, in his hand. hand. It's in my hand. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like. Guys, it's okay. He's a rogue. He'll dodge it. <laughs> okay. He's, built, he's different. <laughs> Dude, I, we haven't long rested in a long fucking time, dog. I still have, No, you haven't. I still only have 18 health. <laughs> yeah, you do. When did we long rest? Yeah. I'm... You haven't. I mean, you guys went straight from the Feywild fight with the doctor to back to your ship, and that was it. All right, so with uh, that... As long as it doesn't do also over your max HP, you won't die instantly. <laughs> it's lightning, so we'll see. I don't know. You're holding it, dude. This is fucking your choice. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I enjoy shopping online. I do it far too much, actually. And I don't think there's been a single moment where I had a promo code ready at checkout. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupons is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click Apply Coupon. You wait a few seconds as Honey searches the internet for coupons that it can find for that store, and if Honey finds a working coupon, your price is going to drop. I don't really go out to stores much anymore, so anything I've got to buy, like stuff for the kitchen or clothes, things like that, I tend to buy online. You wouldn't think that that having coupon codes would save you so much, but I've, I've probably saved a couple hundred bucks just having Honey up there clicking the button and, I mean, saving money. And it's convenient too. Honey doesn't just work on your desktop. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. I'd never recommend something I don't use. So get Honey for free right now at joinhoney.com slash jrwi. That's joinhoney.com slash jrwi. And if you're a YouTube viewer, just scroll down. The link will be there in the description. Thank you so much, Honey, for sponsoring Just Roll With It. Guys, listen, if you want to support the show and you're not able to get Patreon or anything like that, the best thing you can do is go download this free browser extension. It helps us out a lot if you go and check out Honey for real. But now, I will leave you to enjoy the rest of this episode of Just Roll It. So, Jay, you watch him stand on the edge of the boat and hold the... I'm gonna grab the pearl. I'm not going to let him shock himself. <laughs> I mean, he's already decided to do it. I asked you what to do. So, oh, in this moment, okay. I mean, he walks up, stands onto the top, and you watch him hold the pearl up high into the sky with one hand. Chip, come on. Don't just throw it or something. We throw it, there's a chance we lose him. The... Pearl in your hand, Chip, you, be, you feel it erratically begin to shake as you feel it sort of, you can just, you're, every single follicle on your body stands as you can feel a strike on its way. And I'm not taking that chance! <laughs> you are so stupid, I don't know what <laughs> I can even do. <laughs> Gilliam. What's up? Ooh, pretty. <laughs> the area around you, as you... We're standing in blackness and shouting. It feels like a beach begins to form beneath your feet. And then you watch as this black sand swirls around you and begins to rise. And it mixes with this red lightning. It becomes this chaotic storm within your environment. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just, I mean, I'm just here. There's nothing else, right? It's just lightning and a cool storm. Um, I guess I'll look up to where the faces have been appearing. It almost looks like the sand, this black sand is funneling like a tornado and rising to the, to the sky, to, to the up above above you right now. All right. Go ahead and- I want to ride it. <laughs> Actually, go ahead and make an Arcana check. Oh shit, okay. I'm fucking dumb of ass. Okay, 
three. <laughs> so with the three, you are unable to discern what is happening at the moment. But at your feet, you begin to walk over to the side and try and get sucked in with the wind. I want to get sucked in. I want to <laughs> I want to ride it like Breath of the Wild. I want to try and like jump into it. <laughs> you walk over and as soon as you like stick your foot or your hand into it, yeah. it almost feels like you're getting uh, sliced with shards of glass at the speed and the rate these grains of sand are moving. And you look down at your feet and you see something being written within the sand. Oh shit. I look down and even though it hurts, I push my hands in first and then my head as this is whipping at me and I open my eyes to see what message this says. Okay, go ahead and make- Would I recognize this as being a very similar scene to when I looked inside the Luxpress Pearl? Absolutely, 100%. Oh, what cool mentally traumatic thing is it about to say to me? Just because you're like willingly forcing your way in? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Just go ahead and, and take- Um, I have also not gotten a long rest, right? No. I don't have a ton of HP. How much damage, Chris? <laughs> <Do I? laughs> you take 18 points of slashing damage. Okay. <laughs> right, right. And <laughs> within the sand, don't do that again. You see it being written out. Take back your destiny. And this loud, deafening <laughs> strikes as Jay. You watch this red glow in rapture, Chip. And the same thing strikes the sand in front of your face as you feel yourself, this familiar form of powerful electricity just shoot directly onto you, Gillian. And then, Gillian, you begin to hear the sounds of a raging storm and feel the wet rain on your skin. What are you doing as this happens, Gillian? Um, now I was going to just scream more obscenities at the clouds, but since I kind of see something different has happened, I have an awesome line that I'm going to wait until the perfect moment to say. <laughs> Jay is sort of like taken aback on this, on you know, like this okay. rowboat. In that case, both ship, yes, fucking light. <laughs> Chip and Gillian both roll dexterity saving throw. Holy shit. I have a crazy ass question. Does Chip get a plus four <laughs> because he's in my order? He does. He does. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, yo. Uh, it's back. I mean, it's, it's going to be a, for back. Chip, it's a deck save with disadvantage because there's no way you're like, it's going to be very hard to take half damage. Wait, how here, the but... fuck is he even going to dodge this? I mean, yeah. I'm not going to dodge it, right? I'm just going to take it. I'm Bro, trying okay. to get struck by lightning, right? Yeah. I, I got a 19 on the deck save. You as know what? As Fuck it. Why am I dodging lightning? This is cool. I want to take my destiny. I want to get fucking hit by lightning too. You're both gonna be <laughs> dead. Fuck it, guys. You... Fuck it. The next thing we should see if you take half damage or not. That's all. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure I already take half damage, and if I pass, I take no damage, and that would just yeah, be that's lame. how it works. <laughs> all right, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I got a 29 uh, though, like for real. I, I did, got a nine, like, I got a 19. But, I got a 19. But like fuck, but like fuck that shit though. Like I'm, I'm, I'm different. I'm, I mean, I'm the same. I'm the same. So you're not gonna use the deck safe? Are we? Are we both? Are you both just omitting listen, it? Listen, listen. I'm getting lifted up after seeing Caesar Destiny. Do I want to dodge lightning or do I want to fucking open my eyes and take it in? Do I want to take the lightning for myself? <laughs> so true, yes. I guess. Okay. I'm gonna get hit by fucking red ass cool like you fucking feel lightning. You feel this explosive force strike you down as if being smite by the gods and you get sent flying into the water. That's the next thing you feel. The cold, icy Holy waters shit. and everything what? around you is just black as you see the red glow above you. Above you. How much damage I'm gonna take? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you in a second. This could kill us. I'm gonna tell you in a second. <laughs> Jay, you see in front of you as the pearl shatters in a million pieces. Holy shit. A bit of it hits the ground where Chip was standing. The lightning strikes the boat as it catches fire. But in front of you, <laughs> through the fire, the flames, the lightning strike, you see Gillian Tidestrider. I'm on one knee in a superhero landing, and I look up. Your fish has been granted. <laughs> <laughs> Could you also stand now, just for the sake of me showing you this cool art that I got? Yeah, and then I stand oh up and take 30,000 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, check this out! This is what I thought you might see. It's for the patrons. The patrons. Check it out. Not Whoa! finished yet. Not finished yet. But that's kind of the environment in front of you right now. That's fucking awesome. Uh, this is uh, this is the manga version. Obviously, no color. That's but, so uh, sick, that's awesome. bro. That's right in front of you. And, uh... I told you I came from an egg! 
<laughs> With that, you basically watch Gillian reborn from this egg <laughs> underneath the storm at the sea. Holy shit. And Chip is Holy nowhere shit. to be seen. Wait, Chip is? Nowhere to be seen. Uh, uh, I, I, what? I, I, Jay, you did it. <laughs> Wait, where's Chip? I, is he not somewhere else? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I look at the ground and see if there's dust. <laughs> Gillian and Chip, you take okay. 41 <laughs> points of lightning damage. Okay. I'm, I'm right. down. I come I'm down. out like a fucking badass uh, and say, let's go get him. Immediately get struck by lightning and fall on my fucking face in the ship. <laughs> you've, already, you've already taken the damage as soon as you come out. <laughs> okay. All You're right. good. Okay, I come out. Oh, wait, I already took it? As soon as you they got struck and came out, yeah. Okay. So then I'd be, uh, yeah, I'm down as hell. Down? Yeah, I had I had like 27 HP left when I got hit by that uh, that first like glass thing. Um, okay, then I guess uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> so, well, so he I just falls out. right in front of you. I He's scorching. I fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything for him, Jay? Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna. He he at least saw me for a second right before he yeah. went unconscious. Right. Okay. 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 He said okay. all, he said all that and then okay, fell. Here's the deal. Yeah, I did. I did. I said that stuff to you and then I immediately like fucking fell over. I flip Gillian over quickly. I pull out what is it? A greater health potion? Yeah, a greater potion of healing. 44 plus 4. I uncork it. I pop it in his mouth and I'm jumping in the water to block for Chip. Holy You're shit. You're jumping okay. in the water. Okay. The chip is not on the boat. Is what you're telling me right now? No, I'm. How, my how much healing? Drown. How much healing do I get back from that? I'm coming 40 in. Forty. Here, I'll roll it for okay. you. Okay. Wow, forty-four. That's a lot. Great. I'll mark it now. Uh, Eleven HP. Oh, you meant like dice? Okay, hang Wait, on. Wait, no. Eleven plus four. Fifteen. Right. All right, fifteen. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Um, you would probably wake up and hear a splash right next. To you. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> you like shoot up. <laughs> shoot up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I look up in the sky and see if there's like any like big, huge like people that like resemble anyone from my past, like judging me based on what I do next. <laughs> nope. Just the normal mana sky with a bunch of red lightning, swirling black clouds, and a, and an absolutely insane storm right now. What the fuck is going on? It's been 20 minutes! <laughs> um, and I look down to see Jay, and I will fucking, like, dive in after her and start swimming. Uh, just I guess also looking for Chip. Yeah, I mean, the Chip, the little rowboat was essentially almost eviscerated as it is on fire at yeah. the moment. The yeah. front of it is just, like, completely in dust. Yeah. Um, and you guys both roll perception checks. Okay. Jay, okay. you don't have dark vision, correct? No. Gillian, do you have dark oh, vision? Shit. Yeah, I do have dark vision. Do okay, I have a disadvantage then, on this? Jay, a disadvantage, yep. Yeah. Oh, fuck okay. me. I got a six, bruh. Oh, an eight. Fuck. I had a really good roll, and then it rolled over to eight. Okay, so with a six and an eight, neither of you at the moment can see Chip. Okay, hang on. Uh, with your eyes. With our eyes. Chip, roll a death saving throw. That's a pass. Cool. Jay, go ahead and make a con save. Yeah, sure. Wow, I'm rolling shit. I believe you can hold your breath for... A while. Actually, it's a constitution check, not a constitution save. Okay. But because of the, like, panic and the storm, it's going to be a lot more difficult than just holding your breath normally. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a nine. <gasps> okay. Um, oh, yo! Okay, I found something. I look over at Jay, and I can use shape water to change water's color and opacity, something I would probably only do for bits. And I want to like basically reach a hand out and like when I do, when the water moves, it like clears up from this dark uh, with these these red cracks in it and just like becomes clear uh, in a funnel around her so that she can better see. And I glove okay. something really cool at her about it's her destiny and also want to give her guidance. <laughs> the, the, so just to be clear, the water isn't like inky or anything. It's dark because it's nighttime. And right. Yeah. That stuff. Um, okay, okay. Can you make it like a <laughs> glow in the dark water? <laughs> can I make it glow in the dark water? I'd like to become bioluminescent, DM. You know what? Uh, I don't have time to read the Jay Water spell, so sure. Okay, sick. Yeah, awesome. And then I I'm going to give helps. Jay guidance. Okay. Um, um, roll again without disadvantage? You are going to basically risk running out of breath, but I'll let you uh -huh. roll again okay. if you take the risk. Oh, no, wait. That was a 13. This Gillian's nearby. 
I forgot about the plus four. Okay, it well, only works you know on saves, I mean? though. It's not for checks. Uh, oh, that wasn't a save. Yeah, it's, okay. it's not everything. Yeah, it's not everything. <laughs> I wish. Hey, yeah, yeah. And it's my destiny. You said. And it's your destiny. So another d4. Okay, that's 18. 18 perception. Let's go. Okay. Fuck, Since you're out of breath, you have a. You basically have a. You have three rounds, so six or six times three, 18 seconds before you are. You drop to zero hit points. So at this point, you see <laughs> Chip. You do see Chip, he's sinking. He's very, he's probably like maybe at this point 30 feet below you guys. Holy shit. I have a and fucking stupid ass plan. You, at, you <laughs> on the other hand, you know, you point to it, you direct Gillian, you cannot yeah. go down there or you will die. Like you will yeah, just drop to zero I, HP. I, I, Jay knows that. Okay. Uh, so she is absolutely directing Gillian. Okay. All right, Gillian. All right. <laughs> can I speak underwater? I, it's my whole society <laughs> revolves around it. So I assume you can. I can. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. can. You, you breathe the oxygen, which means you can, whatever. It works. Fantasy. Bitch. I'm not oh. losing either of you again. And I reach down, and this is something that I've wanted to do since episode one. I want to use shape water to freeze the water in a five foot cube below Chip so he just starts fucking rocketing up because ice floats. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and he's coming basically towards us so that he'll carry us up too, is the idea. So I um, reach out and the water like below him fucking like freezes and just starts shooting up. Yeah, sure. Sick. And then I want to, I guess, hold out my hands and wait for him to collide with us. And as soon as he does, I'm going to fucking shock some of my lay on hands into him. So I'm basically like <laughs> readying myself so that when Chip collides with me, I'm going to heal him. Sounds good. Dude, so how much does he get? Uh, I'll give you fucking 29, bro. Fuck Holy it. shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the next thing, um, I wouldn't say because of the current, you guys were all in a straight line and uh, like above each other yeah, and whatnot. Sure. But just for like uh, just to expedite it, the next thing that you feel chip is coughing up water out of your lungs and you see the heavy rain on your face looking at the night sky and the different red lightning strikes. And all three of you are sort of sitting on this five by five foot ice iceberg. cube that is floating still like you still need to hold on very tightly it's very hard it's very slippery but you are floating for the moment the time being above this water and that's the first thing you see as gillian basically cprs lay on hands you back into life <laughs> yeah with like an electric shock <laughs> and jay you are just barely managed to catch your breath as well with this <sighs> <laughs> I can wake up and I cough water like at him. <laughs> yeah, I just like I just like fully take it in the face, smiling. Chip, you're an idiot. <laughs> I look up and I see Gillian in front of me. Yeah, I don't say anything. Uh, I just hug him. Oh, I fucking hug Chip back. I get in there. I hug group hug. Group We're hug, going for the group, group hug. hug in the you guys have this group, group hug, hug on an iceberg in a storm. <laughs> and then you slip off the iceberg back into the. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> what? Uh, as you as you are, are all group hugging and barely managing to stay on the ice, Gillian, right above, right past Chip's shoulder. Very easy enough. Even Jay would probably see this. Chip, mm -hmm. the only one who doesn't. There is this massive shadow being swimming beneath. Leviathan, Do I know? Leviathan. Would I immediately recognize it or no? It depends on how much you think Gillian remembers the history and knowledge he learned. On a scale of like how badass is this in the hierarchy? Because if it's super badass, he'd know. Probably like top three for sure. Okay, top three bad. Gillian, I mean, Gillian's like the number one fanboy. Of, like, I mean, like, the so, reason yeah, why it's yeah, knows. the reason it's why it's a, a bit of a shadow of a silhouette right now is because it's still deep enough to not yeah. be detailed, but it's so big you can't help but see it move beneath the waters. Holy shit! Is it? Uh, uh, you're real, right? You're real. I'm hugging yeah. you, and you're real. Yes, yeah. this is real. Yeah, and you're and real too. Get out of here now. This is real. I'm not dead. Well, if you're dead, I'm dead too, and Jay's also dead, and if Jay's dead, we're all screwed, so I'm just happy you're here. <laughs> Me too. Hey, so listen, we're, we're on top of, underneath the storm that's on top of Pelagus and Leviathan. Uh, it's pronounced Pelagus, 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 Jay. I'm sorry, but continue. I'm sorry, I didn't learn this. I, we need to get out of here. Are you sure? This is sick. Yes. I, I start, I get onto the side of the ice, and I start yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just paddle. Yeah, I'm not, I wait, which, way, the, the which way to the ship? Which way to the ship? Uh, <laughs> That way. I would know. That way, I'll get us out of here. <laughs> and uh, I want to use the second function of shape water to, like in the fucking first episode, I think, make yeah. a little sort of ice propeller that just starts puttering and I start paddling with them. 
<laughs> so slowly but surely, being rocked by the storm, you're heading back the way you came. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do anything else before you leave? Um, no. <laughs> I would want to jam something into the ice and make sure that everyone's holding on to it so we don't fucking fly off. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the. I mean, I'm gonna look back for sure. When you look back, there's this definite surge of like dense magic beneath the waters. And just for you, Gillian, there is some sort of beckoning connection to the beast that swims below. But you know what else there's a beckoning connection to, bro? My goddamn friends! <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to both yeah. of them. Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's All right. keep schmoving. Maybe next year, um, buddy. So all of you make it back to the ship. Oh, Through the storm, alive. Close call, though. Very yeah. close calls all around. How much do I remember of the Feywild? I because I was about yeah. to mention it. The way you traveled from the Feywild to the Pearl is not. I mean, it's incredibly powerful, but it's not conventional. And so, just because of the way that it works, I won't say you have to make a save as you didn't really traverse between sure. planes. You were sent into capture. So. You guys, uh, the storm is still heavy, but it's not as threatening. Back of your ship, you managed to climb back onto the deck, all three of you. Jay, Chip, I don't know what you did, but thank you. Woo, they're alive! No words, I'd just hug Gil, honestly. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, and I bring Chip in too. Uh, under, under, like, much less oh. scary circumstances. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're no longer in a fucking life or death situation. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll come into the hug too, but more just kind of like, Put, put my head in, then, then put my arms in. <sighs> missed you, Gil. I missed you too. Both of you. So much. I'm sorry. For what? Honestly, I don't even know. I just <laughs> tried to draw a cool card for the improv show, but I'm sorry that I, I know that I wasn't there when I should have been. Hey, that's improv, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're home. I am. I think we would just stay like that for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You feel this like little bird land on your shoulder, Gil, and you look back. You see Apple, and you Apple! see uh, you see Alphonse on the wheel, who gives you a salute. You see Dre Farron at the railing, just sort of leaning up against it, smirking at your reunion. And you see Griffin on the steps to the gun deck, just smoking a cigar that keeps getting you know dampened by the the rain, but he keeps relighting it anyways. <laughs> and you see Ollie, who is like holding you know life or death just like clutching the side of the ship but also sort of looking at you and waving and then you see uh felipe, felipe who walks up bring it in <laughs> i open my arms wide he raises a fist he extends it out <laughs> that'd be a bad no way and I want to try and give him the sick you know what i'm actually going to cast guidance on myself i want to give him the sickest dap of all time Everything is back to as it should be. Everything's back. Everything's dap. I'm gonna try and dap him up. What check is this? Performance. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> I get another oh. D4. 12, bruh. You know, he tried. I mean, you were in a pearl for like- Yeah, my, my hands are very shaky. I dap him up. <laughs> now my training could resume. <laughs> and you dap. Did you, um, find her? Find... Her? I guess there's a lot of hers. Um, yeah. <laughs> but pretzel. Oh, yeah. Um. I, I obviously she's just around my waist. I, I grab her. When she was taken and... from me thirty minutes ago. <laughs> Gil. Everything changed. It's been like, like a few days for us. Thirty minutes for you. Two weeks out here. <laughs> I don't know. Things are kind of crazy. <laughs> two, two weeks. There. I'm even more sorry. No, it's okay. You were only gone for like two days for us. Jay, you pull out the tank and Pretzel has been spinning <gasps> just round and round. And then she stops whenever she sees Gillian. And this kind of like clouded eyes immediately clear. And then they bubble and swell like tears. And she begins to like hop out of the... Yeah! The little yeah. tank. And we're in a fucking storm. She'll be fine. I grab her little tentacle arms and I fucking spin her around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she so like close. leaps out at you. 
and she, uh, there's a, a new life that enters Pretzel as she spins around with you, Gillian, on the deck. You'll never be alone like that again. <laughs> no more tank for you. No more tank. I'm not a fan of globe-shaped things anymore. <laughs> You're out here with me now. You see a bruise? Your amphibious anyway hardly made any sense. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna put her, uh... I'm just gonna hold her. Like a fucking mm. stuffed animal. Like, I, like it's close to my chest. <laughs> so what did I miss? Um, you know, maybe we get into that tomorrow. It's been a, a long day. It is the middle of the night right now, right? Mm hmm As yeah. that storm begins to get further and further away, you just hear this, like, low groan that seems to come from the sea itself as the Leviathan gets further from your presence. And that same sort of beckoning connection that you felt Gillian gets weaker as it leaves. You know, I, I felt some sort of destiny connection or something, but who gives a shit? I never thought I'd hear Gillian Tide try to say that. That's new. That is new. I wonder if it had any important information they give you. Honestly, it really felt like it did, Felipe. But I just, I felt like the right thing to do there was, I mean, do you think I could still catch it, Mask? I don't even really know if I want to. I finally have all my friends back. I don't really want to dive into the sea and <laughs> risk it for the biscuit. I mean, you probably can't catch it now. It's like really far away. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like really far away and it might be like uh -huh. going back uh -huh. under uh -huh. Uh -huh. the water. Felipe, you have so uh -huh. much insight about what'll work and what won't, like just generally. <laughs> yeah, like the world... It seems like, like you just understand everything. And I feel like you know where we should go, like, most of the time, and, like, you point us in the direction we're supposed to be. Yeah, and, and actually, Felipe, on a scale of 1 to 10, how important do you think it was? Because, like, for sure, we could make it happen, you know what I mean? But if it's, like, a 5 <laughs> or a 4 and it'll come up, that's cool, too. Well, We could just guys, be here now in the moment. I mean, as you know, I've been touched by God, and so that's why I, you know, almost explode in the temple. Right. Because I myself have been touched by God as a as a boy. And so uh, now I'm all powerful and I'm omniscient. On a scale of one to ten, um, <laughs> let me just uh, let me think about it. You know, I mean, I don't know. It's probably like two, maybe. You'll probably like wish you knew later. <laughs> That's probably it. <laughs> I can live with it too. And I turn back to giant ship. I'm just kind of like, Chip isn't really saying much. He's just very like resting against the side of the ship, just watching. What's the vibe I get from Chip right yeah, now? Yeah, I was mm. going to ask. What's the vibe? Just like. Yeah. Why did you save me? <laughs> <laughs> like, um. Is he still in his shit? Ki it's like, I don't know. It's a strange. Are you in your bag right it's now? Definitely, it's definitely like he's happy, but he's still a little funky. You know what I mean? I'm like, he's like. An I want to immediately insight check this. I am. I see the funk. It is my destiny to check the vibe. All right. <laughs> I got a 21 to vibe check you. Definitely just like happy that you're back and and still like uh, you you can tell that he's fucked up a little more than mm -hmm. usual, but oh shit. I mean like this is still a good moment and he's still happy in this moment. Just seems like there's something else on his mind. Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first cuz a lot has happened. In the last two uh, time, how about you? Uh, how about you go ahead? Okay. Well, after I drew that card, I was in a white space with nothing but my thoughts and my past given form. I spoke with some version of the elders and they put me through the same trials I ran my whole life. They put me on trial for my sins and who I was. My first trial, there was a camp of people um, and to be totally honest, that I for sure in the past 
went through and killed like hundreds of times. But this time I decided to speak to them. And then there was one where I was like Dark Gillian, but more dark than I've been, because I've been Dark Gillian a couple times. I was like Joker Gillian, and I had planted bombs all over the city, and I needed to solve a riddle or something. There was no riddle. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third trial, I relived the moment before I was exiled. Oh. And in that third moment, I had a chance to do differently than what I did, which was attack that Navy Vice Admiral. And the big thing for me was that Vice Admiral was very familiar. Yeah, Jay's head would have perked up at yeah. Vice Admiral. Jay... Familiar how? The block was not the first time I accidentally got my sword stuck in your dad's chest. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was there... <laughs> what a way to frame it. <laughs> and he wanted to expand. So you stabbed my dad twice well, now? Well, I didn't stab you. I stabbed your dad <laughs> twice in the past, but in this vision, I actually well, just, like, I just tried to talk with your no, dad no, you don't and get him to understand. understand. <laughs> I'm sorry I stabbed your dad. I, listen, it was going to no, come up sooner rather than later. He does deserve it. Yeah. To be frank, he's kind of an ass. And even in my vision, he was kind of an ass. He wanted so, to expand, like what? The Navy wants to go underwater? That's How are they going right. to do that? Or at least what? work with the undersea on their terms. Yeah, so was it like that they, they kind of wanted an alliance, right? But it was a very Navy... He was of, there on diplomatic terms. Uh, yeah, in quotes. To... It was allying against the pirates, I actually think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Would I remember if in the actual version of this past, if a deal was struck at all? Well, what he said was, there is a... We have a common enemy. And in your you wouldn't know what the outcome of this conversation was. Basically, what you lived through was only... You know, what you would have overheard before you struck, but got you didn't got it, got it, got it. care about the information because yeah. you were, you know, filled with justice and mm -hmm. destiny. <laughs> yeah, of course. So I convey that information. But yeah, he was there Bless technically you peacefully to discuss yeah. a relationship with the undersea elders and the Navy, the raft, raft the government, and because the other outcome would be enemies. Yeah. You know, it was either or. You're with me or you're against me. Yeah. Basically the first contact between the Overseer and the Undersea. And then <laughs> after that, they were just about to tell me if I was really, um, you know, worthy or not. Um, and then the Klaus fucking showed up before they said what it was, what the answer was, what I was, you know, really hoping to, would set me free. Uh, and then I fell for uh, timeless amounts. And then there was lightning and sand and cryptic divine messages and... And I was in a flaming boat. Uh, mm. Then I died, and then I woke up, and now we're here. And and this all happened in in the Pearl. I was in the Pearl. Yeah, the yeah the Luxpress Pearl. Luxpress. Oh, how's it gone? Uh, um, <laughs> um, you would also have noticed that Jay kind of like your reaction definitely changed when you mentioned E class. Yeah, didn't see Dugon. Okay, well. I'm glad you found the pearl in me because I thought that Niklaus was going to use me as some kind of bargaining chip to strike a final deal to really seal the nail in the coffin. We both look real awkward right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's really awkward. That's what I thought was going to happen. But then I remembered all the posters I, everywhere. I think, I think <laughs> and you guys would never you. do anything like that. <laughs> I think the important thing is that we have you back now, right? I mean... Cool tattoo, Jay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, was sweet. You get a new one? No. Oh, <laughs> I was about to bring it. No, it's cool. I'm oh, slowly yeah. moving around to the side to see if you want to bring anything <laughs> I show, up. I show my shoulder. Oh, we're matching. Oh, fuck. We're matching. <laughs> yeah. Um. I couldn't find any other way. As hard as I tried. I just take her by the shoulders. What 
What did you give? I guess a promise. Or maybe not so much because it's unwillingly, but... He said I would hear a name and a command. And whatever that might be, I have to follow through on it. I'll be compelled to follow through on it. Well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but we're here. Thank you for doing that for me. Yeah. You didn't have to. You <laughs> didn't need to. But you did. I wasn't going to leave you stranded in God knows where. I wouldn't have ever found you on my own. You know, no matter how hard I could have tried. So I'd rather take this, this stupid deal with Niklaus than lose you for good. Hey, at least now we all have deals, you know? We never had to worry about it again. That's true! I guess it'll never come. I mean, what are the chances he'll try and make more deals with... He could do a second deal. Oh, we could shit. Do like, yeah, Felipe, two. turn around 360 he right now. Arms up. <laughs> what? What? Oh, hey. Does he have a tattoo on him? <laughs> For your perception, I guess. For holy investigation, shit, right? Holy shit. Dude, what if he's been making deals with everyone in our crew? <laughs> we just I'll don't know also it. inspect him. <laughs> Fuck it. Why not? I'm investigating. investigating. I only got a four. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do it too. Uh, the frog, the everybody frog. else is twenty-two. Twenty-two. <laughs> this would be this would be fucking nuts, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Uh, Jay would be the only one to find something secret. You investigate around Felipe. All you you don't find any tattoos. You just do notice that he has some wicked daggers stashed in behind his vest. <laughs> 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 That's about it. He's packing basically. Nice. He's, he's packing. Um, I don't think. Whoa, whoa, hey, come on, man. I don't even know who the fuck you're talking about, man. Chill. I'm new here. <laughs> so, like, there's no way he would come for me, right? <laughs> you just... Oh, you... <laughs> you... You... Hey. You... Felipe, when in doubt, read the poster. <laughs> I mean, like, what could he offer me? Felipe, I have a feeling Actually, anything. Literally anything. <laughs> uh, but I got all I want right here. And he walks longingly to the edge to look at the sea. Aw. I finally have a life. Ollie runs up and pushes him over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> ah! Oh no! Felipe is getting used to kind again! He died happy. Uh, what was that for? <laughs> it's a prank! It was funny. <laughs> Felipe falls into the ocean. Okay. I push Ollie's at the edge now. I push him over. <laughs> we're in a storm! <laughs> Are we still? No, it's calm down. No, right? It's calmer. Yeah, we're yeah, still it's in calmer. a storm. I'm not going to do it, but. It's calmer. Yeah, you push Ollie over. Killian! Killian! No! No! And I just finally falls over figured out pranks! <laughs> so they're both Thank in the you, water Ollie. now. Hey, I, I can't swim! Oh, shit. I can't! <laughs> <laughs> okay, be back in a second. I, I prank myself and uh, jump off and go get him. Of course, yeah. You got, okay. you got I just stand, yeah, Gillian's. I stand there silently for a second, and I go, All right, screw it, and I want to grab Jay and try to throw her in. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Uh, I'm going to try not to. <laughs> I have really bad strength, though. Yeah, so fuck I. me. I got an eight. I got a four. All right, oh, Chip wins. shit. Come on, come on, come, damn, fucking strong. Come on, again. No, no, I, no. I throw, no. I, I throw her in, but I'll like fall in with her. Okay, great. Because I was going to ask if the secret gooblack on the ship could push Chip off. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the secret gooblack. Oh, <laughs> you hear gooblack. it? Gooblack. Ee -hoo. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you guys all get dunked and you get back onto the ship. What's the plan? Well, I think I'd still like to hear what, what happened with them. So, all right, your turn. Besides the, uh, you know, awful awful deal and stuff and big storm. And oh. Glad you got to see Pelagus. We had a interesting time. I look over to Chip. Um, yeah. After you left, we, we went were accompanied actually. By, by a purple guy, a little purple goo guy named Gooblek. Oh, I love purple guy. Gooblek was his name? When Yeah, when she says Gooblek, you you can remember a little bit more. Yeah, Goo... Right. Um, and then we talked to... No, I mean... There was a there We was talked a pyramid. to Cass for a bit, but Who? we went... What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All I remember is a carnival. And then... <laughs> then we were in, like, a jungle. Okay, okay so we went... There was, like... A, a family room and we had to take a test and they were testing us there was a guy puppeteer he he 
stole pretzel and and turned her into a, like a plushie. Oh, cool! So you guys are losing plushie. him too? No, no, no! I we killed him. We we strung him up. Okay. And took pretzel back. Oh wait! So we are a group of murderers? No, 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 yes, no, no, no. I don't. No, I don't remember. No. I mean, I remember fighting and. I don't remember what um, it was about. All I, bro, Gilly, it was so fun. That's all I remember. Nice. It was... Uh, glad you were there watching hard. over them, Felipe. The chosen big part. Yeah. Yeah. And I pull out the little vial of white liquid. Right? It was white liquid. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's clear uh, liquid. You liquid? fucking oh, I thought it was weirdo. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, she pulls out some cum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, Jay. Um... <laughs> Oops. That's Felipe's like, wait, why do you have track. that? What? 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 <laughs> no, I pull out a bottle of clear liquid. Good thing is, uh, and there's also another bad thing, but we met an archfey, and she gave us this, and this will turn Apple back into whatever she was before. We were going to do it uh, there, but we figured we'd wait until we had you back, so you could be there too. Oh, you didn't have to. Thank you. Assuming, you know, we got you back in the few days after we got back. From the, it only lasts a few days before the power wears off. Um, we should do it soon. Do it soon. I don't know if it's two days there or two days here. Oh, man, this is confusing. Or maybe two days in the Pearl Dimension. Oh, and also, just like maybe a, a little, I, you know, there's this guy called the Doctor, super powerful being. He, I, I might have talked up. Mon a little bit. Nice, and, good know, going, good going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll scare him off forever. Yeah, and he came here to research uh, his experiments and probably turn everybody into a race of goo. Oh, I mean, he's a doctor though, right? Evil. Bad doctor. Like a chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, I remember now. He really wanted you bad. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. He did want you, Gilly. Jay was saying, like, if you were there, he would have been dead. So he was like, oh, well, uh, I sucks. really talked you up. Yeah. So I oh, guess man. he went, I guess he like left to our world so that he could fight you. Well, um, I mean, that's kind of cool. That'll be cool. That's a fun, fun, cool thing. We got the, him, was, the Mecha Leviathan. What about the Leviathan? Oh, though, I was going to say the Mecha Leviathan. It's just cool. We're building so many neat, big, powerful enemies that we get to fight. Oh, um, do you? So maybe that's not the bad thing at all. Do you have your your sword? Oh, it's, it's still stuck it's in still the up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I run upstairs. No, I mean it's, <laughs> it's like it's, deck. On, it's on the deck, wherever oh. you were talking, wherever you slumped oh, yeah. over. It would have been like right top deck. deck near the helm. Oh, okay. So I would run up there quickly. And try to, you'd hear some grunts. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's like a, it's like sword in the stone where you just can't pull it out of the wood. Gillian, I can't. I I like lead sword. him over to the yeah, sword. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I uh I used it for a little while you were, you know, gone. Yeah, it just kind of popped up here after Yeah. I used I the uh take a firm hold a of the sword and say in my mind, you cheated on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh it rings a tiny bit as your hand gets closer, but then the humming stops as you grasp it, and in your mind back you hear it wasn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> sure it wasn't. And then I pull the sword out. <laughs> I just protected your sad little friends. Thank you. So now we're back on the bullshit. We're going to go cut Destiny in Oh, half. we're back on the bullshit, all right. I hope it served you well, though, Chip. Yeah, I uh, kept me safe. Um, got to do that thing with the water you always do. You hear in your mind? Pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, soft your hands. <laughs> I put the sword back in the boat. Uh, <laughs> 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 you got to do the, the thing with the water. Yeah, where it, like, moves. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't... That's not like a sword thing, though. I mean, it happened when I used the sword. I moved the water, and then like I did a, I did a cool thing with like ice, and it got like covered in ice, and it like, not a thing the sword can even do. Chip, oh, are you a magic boy? No, oh, it's it was. Come it with was me a sword. now. It was, Come with me now. It was, Come with me now. It was, it was hey, 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 I grab. Take him to the edge of the boat. <laughs> What's this thing you did with the water again? Look, it was the sword. It wasn't really me. I just. Moved it. I just like, I mean, okay, like, yeah, 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 for sure. And I'm going to here. I'll I'll give you the sword again, and you just try and do it. And I'm okay. just gonna, I'm just gonna put a fucking pole in his head, like something that feels like it. It would be this. Uh, close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> and I just like okay. give him like a fucking like stick. <laughs> you rip off a plank. From yeah, the I rip off a plank. I like I like make it feel kind of sort of like a sword. I give it to him. 
Are you sure this is the sword? Oh yeah, you just have rough hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I moisturize a lot. <laughs> we have starting to have second thoughts about this. Okay, I'll <laughs> Now, I want you... Yo, maybe we could do this another time or something? Shh, no. Think moist, think moist. Okay. Now, what did you feel when you did this the first time? I just thought about what you did and I moved the water. And as I say that, I like whip the thing up and I like a big orb of water from the sea. Says mm -hmm. in front. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But I. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I figured like, it was gesture just gesture everyone, like everyone from the boat to come over. Oh, the crew is behind you guys yeah, now. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. And I'm just gonna put the sword. It from the sword. I'm gonna put the sword on like the rail of the deck in front of him. So the first thing he's gonna see when he opens his eyes is the sword there. And um, yeah, and you just channel it from the sword. Chip, I think you should open your eyes. Open my eyes to what? You've been pranked. I drop the stick and the water <laughs> falls. <laughs> Yo, that was awesome, dude. Chip, it's not the sword. It's you. It's you, you baby boy. I, I don't get it. I don't, why? There's nothing to get. It's just a feeling. It's just something you are. It's just a way for you to express yourself. You didn't know you had. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm like thinking about this, um, I did on my sheet change these spells so I no longer actually have it's shaped cool, it's water. Cool, it's cool, it's cool. Don't tell the DM, it's cool. <laughs> from, um, I already do that. <laughs> from, from here, I, I won't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Alright. I'm like a wizard or something. Up! And I hold my hand out and I like throw the water up. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, here. I give him back the stick. <laughs> I hold the stick and nothing. I don't get it. I just did it. Well, what are you thinking of when you when you do it? I mean, are you just thinking water go? Go water? I don't know. What am I supposed to think? That's not how it works. So I just like... If you think too much, you'll have dysfunction. So just like clear your mind. Chip, what? <laughs> okay. How does Chibo brain really work? I just kind of do shit. I don't know. I don't, I don't think about it. Cool. All right. Sick. So true. All he says. So just fucking do shit. Just fucking do shit. Just fucking do shit. Yeah. I, I don't You've know if I can do you. this with everybody like standing around me though. It's like I didn't know everybody was watching. Can you guys like um go away? Performance anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not performance anxiety. I'm just this is all a little right, alright, alright, alright. You have all the all pieces, right. Chip. Everybody back up. It's you as the first maid. Alright, everybody. Back to your stations. <laughs> Okay, just do, just do, don't think. It's okay if just you do. can't do it right away. I mean, it took me like hundreds, if not thousands of, of tries to figure myself out, so. As I'm doing this, you see, like I close my eyes. I'm gonna move the water, but I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna do it. And as I'm saying this, this stick starts, steam starts to come off of it. Or like smoke. And you see as it, this wood starts to heat up. I look okay. at Jay, like, should we okay. tell him? No, I, I just... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're, uh, you're doing really good. Now just keep doing that, whatever you're doing. I open my eyes. Just focus. And I, I look at the water, and then I drop the stick. I'm not... Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> it, it doesn't, like, it doesn't actually set fire or anything, but you can see the burn marks on it from where my hands were. And I just technically... Slightly started to cast burning hands. That's um, awesome, dude. But I drop it. I'm not. Look, I'm not. Can we just relax for today? I'm not this. I'm not. I. I I'm. I don't want to do this right now. I just. I leave. I stop him. What? What? I can tell there's something else going on. Chip. What's up? Look, uh, I'm. I'm glad to have you're, you back. All right, mm -hmm. I'm. I'm really happy you're here. I, 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 I should tell you, you know, what I told Jay. I'm, you know, now that we have you back, I'm, I'm gonna bring Ollie home, and then I'm, I'm done. Done like, like pirates stealing. Like pr this, I'm done. Okay. I don't want to just, you know, you just got back, but like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not cut out for this and I'm done. 
Are you done because you are not cut out for it? I don't know. I'm... I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not the pirate I always wanted to be. Maybe it's because I'm... Because I brought all of you here for no good reason, just to recreate what I had as a kid, and it's not the same, and maybe it's because I'm scared. I don't know. A lot of reasons, a lot of things. Scared of what? Of exactly what happened. I handed you that card. And we lost you, and I... And it's not the first time. And it won't be the last. I'm... I'm bad luck. I'm a bad pirate. I'm a bad hero. I'm... Just bad. I'll tell you what else you are. You're gonna shut up and listen. <laughs> okay. Because I've had simultaneously a lot and not very much time to l reflect, but I've done it. And you didn't even hand me that card. I drew that card. Because that's improv, baby. That is improv, baby. And I don't know what makes you think you're bad luck. Because even though it was in flashes, I'm pretty sure you literally just exploded in a thunderstorm to bring me back, holding a pearl up to the sky. That seems like pretty good luck to me. And I don't give a shit if you're not what you think a pirate is. Jay and I don't even know what pirates are. This is a frog. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> hey there. Hey there, what's up? This is a child. He stays on our boat. We literally, we, we don't even tell people the positions of the crew they are because we don't know any of them. The only part of the pirate code I even remember, and I'm pretty sure that you do too, is that you can't piss yourself. <laughs> You're not a bad pirate, Chip. You're just you. What if that's not enough? For who? Because it's enough for me. And I know it's enough for everyone else here. Hello. Jay just silently nods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I look at everybody. I mean, I rolled for it to see who could hear what you were saying and who couldn't. Everyone but Alphonse, as he's at the helm. Yeah. And he's more focused on just, you know, directing you guys, the ship. And, uh, but Ollie is, I mean, just sort of, uh, I mean, he looks at you and he looks like, uh, I mean, he looks like he really cares about you. The other guys, and then Ollie's basically like, you know, crying, just listening to you guys talk. And Griffin, I mean, he's pretty new as well, but, you know, he's watching this whole thing as well. And there is a respect for you guys that you earned, including you, Chip. That's why he's here. And Felipe is Felipe. I mean, he just looks <laughs> like a jolly frog, of you, but you know that he looks at you like... You gave this him purpose, something to do with his life. And then you see Dre on the gun deck, leaning up against the wall by the door into that captain's quarter is made into a, a kitchen. And when you look around, you meet his eyes. He says, no matter what you do, we're all proud. This crew and your last. I know he wish he could see you. I hope we see him again. Chip's like very much standing there. Like, there are tears, but he's holding them back. He's like, he's like, I'm not going to do that shit. I'm not crying. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm, st I'm, but they're, they're coming. I'm not going to stand here and say something like, it's your destiny to be a riptide pirate forever. Because you're in charge of that. But what I will tell you is you made this. Are you sure you want to give it up? 
Well, I can't now, can I? <laughs> I can't promise I won't, uh, sail us straight into a storm and get us blown up, but I'm proud to call you my crew. Our crew. My friends. Riptide Pirates. <laughs> Till the end. I put my arm in. Till the end, my friend. Till the end. We probably will blow this ship up at one point. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you completely straight. It may not even be your fault. It's... It will probably be mine in Gillian? second easily. It's tradition. It's it okay. It wouldn't be the first time. But I'll tell you what. If yeah, we do I'll... happen to blow the ship up. Maybe we can renegotiate the name. <laughs> I like Albatross. It's got a nice ring to it. Millennium Chipper is really cool, though. Okay, so I, Jay, as soon as I said it, I did get worried he was going to blow the ship up. Um, I'm really... I'm feeling like really, I should have pitched it differently. Well, I could, I could always just carve it back into this one. Uh... Jay, you didn't see it. Jay kind of, like, gives a little smirk, but, like, it's pretty inconspicuous. Yeah. All right. Everybody, hands in. Riptide Pirates. You put your hand out, Gillian on chips, Jay on Gillian's. Ollie comes and puts his hand on Jay's. Felipe hasn't been indoctrinated, but he puts his hand mm -hmm. in there anyways. <laughs> Griffin, and then uh, Alphonse comes down from the helm, and then right on the top... Adre puts his foot on everyone's hands, <laughs> and then you watch <laughs> as Apple uh, lands on everyone's hands, and uh, Pretzel sort of makes her way, and just sort of slinks, like slugs over and sits next to Apple, and everybody's hands are in this middle, sort of um, as the like gentle rain caresses the ship, and you guys just float. What do you say? All right, baby, now this is what I'm talking about. Let's fucking do this shit. <laughs> And then uh, go to bed. <laughs> guys, this is Felipe. He's fucking awesome. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Look, Hello. It's, <laughs> it's been a long, long journey. Not exactly sure where we're headed, but I know everything we're up against right now is really fucking strong. But I know we can do it. We can do it together. We just got to figure out where the fuck we're going. I want everybody to have a say, though. You know, wherever we go next... We all agree. And I won't make you start any more limonade stands. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, that was lucrative. It was. It was but quite lucrative. Even Griffin agrees. See, he was hesitant. But next time we all agree. We all fuck shit up. We all help those in need. And we're all going to be the best goddamn pirates. Or just versions of ourselves, I guess. <laughs> I smile at him. <laughs> that anybody's ever seen. Where do you say you want to go? Gillian, do you have one? Yeah, Gillian's got a bunch. Um, Just the big, big, the big, big long term picture, goal. Long term goal. The last thing Gillian makes you like, he, this is why he's here. Wait, what, is, what does he want? What's at the end for them? Gillian wants to. I don't know if he even wants to fulfill the prophecy so much as understand it and understand what his place is up here in the undersea. All of the above. And this is what you'll say to the crew. Yeah, okay. This is you're just saying where you want to go in a general broad sense. I guess where I'd want to go. Gillian wants to go back, even if it's not right now. The place that I need to be sooner or later. And I know Destiny will take us there. Is my home. And we'll go there. Anybody else? I want you all to meet my mom. And we'll meet her. And maybe, maybe if it's better, I just come on back on the ship later. I we can will. help my, I can help everyone else. Listen, Ollie, you're always going to be a Riptide pirate. But let's make sure that's cool with your mom, too. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be cool in the undersea, by the way, Ollie. There's no child labor laws. <laughs> oh, cool. It's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alphonse says I'm searching for what it means to be Alphonse I will find what I am more 
than just a machine programmed to listen to a captain. Alphonse, I'm kind of trying to figure out myself, too. Maybe we could read some self-help books or something. We'll figure it out. Because of you, I'm allowed to say no thank you. <laughs> and that's that fine is too. freedom I have not had since I was created. That's fine, too. Griffin says, well, I got revenge on uh, my village's killer. Thanks to you. So now, instead of uh, hunting pirates for money, I'll just help you fuck up some monsters. You know? Man, Griffin, there is this big-ass fucking monster. You are gonna love it. Are you familiar with goo? <laughs> I just want to see something I haven't before. I think Jay made sure of that. Bruh. <laughs> Fantastic. Bruh. <laughs> I like making money so I can bring it back and rebuild my village. If the Eastern Sea is ever livable again. Well, you made a shit ton of that. Just hide it from Gilly and he throws it off board. <laughs> um, oh, you're talking Philippe? about the 50,000 that was on the boat. Wait, was? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, 50,000 before taxes. <laughs> No, how did you, you haven't even <laughs> been here for, you've been in our sights for the entire time, how did you? Felipe says, well, uh, I wanna, you know, uh, wanna go where you go, and just, you know, grow, uh, and, and be, uh, I wanna learn, I wanna learn, you know, I wanna learn from you guys, I learn from everywhere, I wanna see, see shit go down, I, I wanna, I wanna, I was in a cage, and I didn't even know it. And you guys opened it and set me free, and now here I am. I, I'm a fucking badass. So I could, I could, I don't know, man. I just, I never had a plan, and it always felt suffocating, you know? Like you're just kind of like stuck in one place, and you don't know what to do with yourself or your future. And <laughs> you were alive for four days. <laughs> I just showed people around Liquidus for money, and then, uh, and now, you know what? I don't have a plan still. I have no future. I don't know. But the great thing is, is now, that feels great. Now that's freeing. I don't need a plan or a future because I'm with you guys and the water will take us where it does. And you know what? I think I do want to meet the goddess of the moon. I think that's my main goal. My main goal is basically to blow up. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to seduce her and uh, I'm going to become a new god. That's uh, I think that's that's where I'm at personally. She's probably actually Tisdale, let's be honest. So yeah, I'm that's, uh, that's me, man. That'd be hype as fuck. Exactly, right? Like, you look up at the moon, you see my face. That'd be uh, mad show. I look up at the moon and I say, I feel the need to state that I do not approve of this. Uh, I do not approve of this person's <laughs> of action. I do not condone it. Anything that he has said uh, is his opinion and his opinion alone. Mama. Dre? Anything? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, we've got one part of the map. Once we have the other two, we follow it and... If Finn and Arlen are still alive, I want to bring him back. And then, once it's us three, we can fucking retire finally. If we can convince Arlen to retire, yeah. That's what I want too. I'm going to bring Arlen home. And he is alive, I know it. I also want to kick the shit out of Niklaus if we get a chance. Stop the Navy from fucking up the whole world. That's where I'm at. Jay? When I first set to sea... My main goal was to find out what happened to my sister, but as information came in, all I could see was was corruption and tyranny caused by the same people who share my name. Oh, ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe this is lofty, but when we're done here, I want to have changed the world. And I want to bring the meaning of my family name back from whatever it is now today. Okay. And I want to stay on ship forever. What the fuck? What the <laughs> hell was that? <laughs> what the that? fuck was that? Did you guys hear something? What was that? Did you guys hear something? What was that? <laughs> Dre says, this right here, everyone has made a promise and nobody is allowed to think about giving up until you fulfilled and kept all your promises. It won't happen again. I look at everybody. I promise. Everybody says Riptide Pirates on three. One, two, two, three. Three. Riptide, Riptide Pirates! Pirates! Riptide Pirates! Riptide Pirates! Riptide Pirates!
Grizzly just opened his mouth and 17 different voices came out at once like a chorus. How did he do How that? How did he do that? That was terrifying, man. <laughs> As you guys sail through the night, I assume you will long rest. Mm -hmm. Yay! When everyone disperses and heads, uh, after a little bit of uh, catching up, some games maybe, a little bit of drinking, you guys all head to bed. Long rest in your beds. You get down into the bottom of the deck. You oh. see it's been somewhat expanded. Ooh. Oh. It is, uh, there is now more than just uh, a one hammock and some barrel and uh, whatever lame cot was on the ground. There are uh, multiple barrels for choosing. Ah. And there's also uh, a few like actual bed frames with uh, you know cotton filled mattresses and and the whatnot, oh, and it's no much way. cleaner in here. It's much well. It's better lit, um, and there is the central mass pillar that sort of, you know, sits in the center of the room, and you can just sort of walk around it. And uh, connected to that center pillar is a sort of like platform table. Of course, the say no to knee Klaus poster is still up. Nice. I would like just to a ask. Tad bit, tad bit bigger, tad bit more mm -hmm. roomy. Excellent. I would like to ask if I could upgrade from a barrel to a bathtub. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's I, huge. That's it's like this. Huge. It's like this. Huge, it's, it's basically a longer wooden barrel that is cut off at the top so that you can see. It's, yeah, you know, the no, old western cool, sort cool. of bath. I have I have plans for the continuous upgrades. <laughs> of, okay. Of Killian's okay. Stupid good. fucking sleeping quarters. All right, Chip. See you at four a.m. Four. We gotta turn that spark into a flame. <sighs> I lay like my head down on the pillow and I fucking knock out. And you guys rest? I'm actually not that tired, so I'd like to stay up and call Caspian. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I haven't called Caspian in ages. I get under the water and I fucking kick my feet up above. <laughs> I swing them back and forth. <laughs> would... And I call Caspian. Yo, you're splashing. <laughs> <laughs> would Chip know anything about just like going back through his memory, trying to think as hard as he can about Jay's sister? What would he remember? Dude, I was fucking terrified that was the person that I attacked and killed <laughs> or something. Like, I, I was like, I was scared. That was my fear plot twist. Well, you definitely didn't kill <laughs> yeah, my dad. Yeah, he's still hanging out, man. He's powerful. So you want to just remember what you remember as a kid hearing about Captain Ava Farron? Yes. You can roll history, but it's been a while, so I'll say with disadvantage. Sure. Eh, it's fine. You can just do it with regular. Well, good. I didn't roll good. That's an eight, but I will learn more. I will be looking for more. At the moment, uh, you don't recall anything and you're too tired to think about it further, so you go to bed. Gillian, are you really staying up and losing your long rest to call Caspian? Uh, would I be losing my long rest for it? I guess you could stay up later and then wake up later. Here's the, here's the genuine thing. Is it like, Gillian's been playing it pretty chill, but I do think that after what happened, he is going to take that fucking silly FaceTime over the phone training very, very seriously to try and like protect these two. Um, oh, okay. So I do think if he is if he is like losing his long rest, I actually do think he'd do that. We'll we'll see. Okay, go ahead and, yeah. and you you get the briefcase back from Jay. Pull out the calm shell. Yeah, I do. I call okay. Caspian kicking under the water, but as soon as they're both asleep, I want to basically slip up to the top of the deck and start practicing so that basically nothing will sort of bring us apart. Is the idea? All right. Uh, you connect, or you try to connect. Yep. And. Yeah, yeah, it goes ring, 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 ring. Yep. That's the noise now I'm making. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> and you hear on the other side, a long time no talk. <laughs> That's what they hear. Uh, <laughs> in the, in the <laughs> Julian, how's it going, my friend? Oh, Caspian. Uh, well, I'm I'm back with Chip and Jay now. I sort of like went through a, a, a nightmare zone for a little bit and relived all my worst fears. Um, and also, I think we went to a different dimension and Jay loved unicorns for a little bit. Um, how are you doing? Really, really. Um, you know, I sort of thought you uh, may have died, you know, because you usually call quite often and do I your training. I actually thought I died as well, yeah. But now I realize more than ever... That now is not the time to do the bath bomb that I've been waiting weeks for. <laughs> now is the time to prepare so that nothing can take me away from this crew again. Abs abs absolutely. Uh, give me about. After we um, catch up a little. After we catch up. Of course. One one moment, Gillian. And you hear like his, he gets a little distant from the phone. Yeah. Yes. They're alive. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you good? All right, cool. So, Gillian, if you're training. talking to Lizzie, by the way, Chip went in his. He was in his bag for a little bit, but I think we got him out. I don't need to tell her that. She'd be uh, unsurprised. Okay, great. <laughs> She's been worried. I mean, you usually do call and update, and you haven't. So, um, you know, in about a month or so, um, I think she's planning to hit the stronghold and uh, send word out to the pirates we've gathered. A little army. Oh, shit. Well, let me know where and when. It should be here in the Northern Sea in about a month, a month and a half. You'll know, because I'll call. Even if... The others, I don't know, maybe I'll get sucked into another dimension, but I will try my hardest to be there. That's a promise. Excellent, she is counting on you. So you want to do training with Caspian over the phone? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what we've been what we've been doing. Gotta get back in my routine, can't break it. Alright, alright. I, I worry about being inconsistent, just continuity uh, um, is like my worst fear, but I'll just say, like, even if it, this isn't the same check we did before, sure. this will just be another training, training exercise. So... Go ahead, this time, roll three dexterity checks. Oh, three of them. Dexterity! So this, <laughs> this, this night, we will be working on the actual, like, footwork of the sentinel okay. feet. Okay, okay. Because you, right. have, you, have, you have the opportunity to attack one, correct? I have the opportunity to attack uh, creature speed becomes zero one. The ones I don't yep. have are creatures provoke opportunity attacks yep. from you, even if they disengage. And when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack on a target other than you, Use that reaction to attack that creature. Which, okay, so you would get basically yeah. one check per hour, so it's going to be three hours of training. Okay. Dexterity, this will be to outmaneuver someone who's trying to disengage with fancy for work and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and yeah, so they won't be able to disengage from you if right. you succeed. You know what I'm going to do? This is fucking crazy. I'm going to cast Minor Illusion on the fog on the ship and make like an extra bastardy chip that like, <laughs> yeah that like it's like bobbing and weaving so what you're gonna want to do is move your foot here move your foot there make sure you're doing the pentagon with uh not the pentagon the triangle with your foot <laughs> step <laughs> forward turn your foot to the left what do you mean first roll is a 14 a 16 minus two okay okay next roll all right what comes after the triangle after you step forward and turn your heel to face outwards, you're going to want to slide your back foot back in order to cut them off by uh, the front. All right, cut them off with my foot. Cut my foot off. Got it. Cut my foot off. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you stumble a little bit on this one. Go ahead and do your net last check. Shit, cast me an axe. Just hit the gritty. Um, <laughs> all right, last one. Get down with your bad self. Okay, I will. And I channel all of my Gillian bad energy and I try to get down with my bad self. That is going to be a 16 minus 2, 14. So, I would say with two minor successes, you'll have passed basically one check here, and you're going to need like three total passes in a night to regain the feat, like to gain the next level of the feat. Does that make sense? Okay, got it. Wait, so I'd need to like spend a night and do... So tonight, you just say about tonight, you're halfway there to getting it down. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so, right. yes, you won't master it tonight, but you are halfway there learning it. Sweet. If you practice any longer, you will definitely lose the long rest. I, yeah, I don't think... Uh, Gillian's, like, pretty obliterated, otherwise I would. Um, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Gillian says, okay. uh, yeah, Gillian says, what next? And then immediately falls unconscious on the deck. <laughs> Gillian. 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 Lizzie? I take back what I said. I think they are dead. <laughs> <laughs> it, it hangs up. Okay, so if there's anything else that needs to happen in the night, I just wanted to do something at four in the morning when I wake up for training. But if <laughs> oh, anything shit. else happens in the night, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, like okay. Jay, I wouldn't have anything tonight. N okay. So no. Jay's no, asleep. I'm dead. I died. Yeah. So Chip would wake up at four in the morning and Jeez. get up, look around for Gillian. Come out to see him laying on on the ground. <laughs> Just like in a puddle. <laughs> it's like sad. <laughs> it's like when you throw a fucking wet rag at the ground. I'll drag him back to the bathtub and put him in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to like stand out on the deck for a minute. <laughs> Just kind of <laughs> look out in, in solitude. Kind of look around for a little bit. And then I want to um, take a rope. Kind of attach myself to the side of the ship. And kind of let myself down a little bit right to where I had buffed out Millennium Chipper. Go down there with a knife. I pull out the knife to go carve it back in, but I would see that it's already there. Now, question of the day. Did I regain my ability to write? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait! What the I mean, fuck? 
mean, like, does it say? There, there would have been already like a like an outline there. You, can, I wouldn't have been able to buff it out. Yeah, all that's the way. what I said to Grizzly. That was like, Connie's I argument too. It. <laughs> it looks, it looks traced over. Yeah, millennial. It's like yeah, millennial copper. <laughs> millennial. <laughs> <laughs> He's goddamn zoomers. <laughs> and as I'm like sitting down there looking at that, I'll just smile to myself. In that case, finally, you all head to bed for your long rests. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you smiling like the fucking mask, dude? What are you about to do to us? What are you going to do right now? Yeah. That's, I was I was really You're expecting I was really expecting a a prompt and like nice and that's what we're gonna end the session. Everyone cheers. But instead, Grizzly full on made a Grinch face and started looking over notes, and I'm so concerned. Gillian does a natural twenty hit your armor class. Of course, fucking does. A natural twenty. Twenty six total. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm also asleep, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Two things right now. Oh shit. Do I <laughs> get, do I have the benefits of the long rest yet? By the way, very important. Um, this would be a uh, probably not. Oh my god. Oh, my heart is like beating, bro. <laughs> so full disclosure to everyone listening, Gillian has 15 HP left. You just gonna back and are you gonna kill him in his sleep? What what is happening? <laughs> I think Felipe's happening, bro. I think so too. And I think Felipe, those daggers you saw were there for a reason, Jay. No. Oh. And I have a feeling that he put some of his special frog juices on them. And I have a feeling that Gillian Tidestrider is about to bleed out at the hands of the joke frog character in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You take exactly 17 points of damage. Oh my god. Gillian's down. And you get jolted awake by this piercing, burning sensation in your chest. And I need you, before you fall unconscious, to make a wisdom saving throw. 27. Do I see what happens? You look down and you just see this almost like a shark tooth turned into a dagger wrapped with this purple ribbon, bone sticking out of your chest. And then you feel this surge of poison and then you feel this magical energy start to enter, like almost uh, like an enchantment. But you're able to just squeeze off the enchantment, and then your vision fades to black. And that's where we're going to end the session. What the what fuck, the dude? Fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What dude? the fuck, What the hell? What happened to my happy ending? Do I hear What it? happened to the happy ending? Oh my <laughs> god. Like, so what? Chip just dragged unconscious Gillian into the bathtub. Dude, <laughs> does that mean? you dragged me to my, you dragged me to my fucking death, man. You dragged me to my resting place. Don't blame me. Bro. I just got it's... past this. Bro, you know who you would have found at 4 a.m. on the deck, bro? You would have found me. Now you won't, dude, because I'm fucking dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I well, took you to bed. I tucked you in in your little bathtub. Yeah, you tucked me in forever. Gillian, <laughs> Gillian's sleeping with the fishes for real, for real. We just got him back. Hey, where's Gooblek um, at? <laughs> anyway, thank God I put Gooblek on the ship because I'll see you next episode as him. <laughs> well, I guess we'll talk about how this is also my fault on just rolled with it. No, 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 no. I don't think that, this is not your fault. <laughs> okay. I just right, want to know ready? if I'm rolling death saves on Patreon. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you, see you at the... Just, just really yeah, yeah, fish you later. I don't know, man. All right, now that the episode's over, you know what time it is. We got to shout out the wonderful patrons over at patreon.com slash just roll with it. All those $50 high rollers deserve their shout outs. So shout out to Turtwig. Shout out to You Will Rue the Day. Feels a little targeted. Shout out to Farmer Gamer. Shout out to Jonathan Bleak. Shout out to Luke Ranbu. Thomas Pierce. The Milk. Dova King. Lemon Leviathan. Ebness. Dapper. Percy. Frogus, last of the Frogus line, lineage. Hollow Headed, Kiwi Palm, Bree Lee, Daxi Boy, Vapor, O Kerberos, I'm Butt Flusting. Oh, bro, what did that even mean? Agar Steeljaw, Beans, Wolfie, Jaden Grant, Joey Madness, Pippin the Mag Maggie, Pippin the Magie, Pippin the Mag Magi. What is one of them? It's one of those. Sweet Cacti. Baka 7, Cal's The Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Amber Curry, Icy Sharky, 
man made pump imp is that an i or an l i can't tell my bad bro your personal jester jordan darlin red sus over paradise mr nacho wild james kev senpai i have j died now i am j dead mitchell iverson mithril gear 417 jews on bow boss goat elysian paramore grand archer Riker Teason, Artemis Loves You, Robins, Deathclaw, Sandy007, Apple, Cheshire, Blue Blend Blop, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Alyssa, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Teddy Loves Bites, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Cornier Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Riker Kirotu. I want to meet you one day, bro. I fucking love that name. I don't know why I do, but I... I have like a connection to that name for some fucking reason. I want to meet you, motherfucker. I want to I want to know where did that come from? Let me know. You specifically. Message the goddamn Patreon. I'm not kidding. Nons Lottle. Funny Hats Incorporated. JRWI Enjoyer and J Newell. Listen, guys, if you want me to shout your name at the end of the episode, I'll do it. Just give me $50, dude. Give me 50 bucks and I'll fucking yell your name from the rooftops, man. I'm not kidding. Go over to patreon.com slash just roll with it and get that $50 high roller tier. You want to be a high roller? You make more money than other people and you want them to know it? That sounds fucked up. Just come support us on Patreon. Um, thank you so much for making it to this part of the episode. We appreciate you. Goodbye.